Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. I thought I was going to go live a whole lot earlier than I ended up doing. Welcome to the stream. Going to go live Wait, why am I echoing? A whole lot earlier than because I've got that on. Okay, so I'm no longer echoing. Um, <laughs> very professional setup, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I thought I was going to go live a little bit earlier, but um, I was trying out my internet to see how it was. And you know what my internet was saying? Uh, yeah, it was saying that for my upload. So uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a problem. But anyway, managed to get it fixed. We got over that. I just pressed the reset button until it started working eventually. And finally, we are good. Oh, let me get the cam on. Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon, good morning, all that good stuff, wherever you are from in the world. Uh, reckon it's about time we head back into Season of Discovery and start finding some new things out. Uh, is everything sounding okay on the stream? Everything looking okay? Because, you know, I'm just wondering if it has a tendency to break given how the internet was earlier. Because, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty rough, to say the least. We shall see that. Anyway, who have we got in the chat at the moment? We've got, uh, we've got quite a few people here who are hopping in. Sounding good? All right, no problem there. That's all uh, amazing. Crisp and beautiful. Lovely. So, as you can see, we have the gnome here. I did play a little bit off stream um, because, well, when I, when I turn the stream off, it's probably around 12 p.m. my time. And uh, then instead of going to bed, I kind of stayed up for another two or three hours. And then I woke up about half eight in the morning. So, uh, yeah, not not the best state of mind. <laughs> Definitely had to have a nap this afternoon to get back into it. Well, let's, uh, let's go. Ah, yeah. So I got up to this point inside the inn with, of course, the Warlock Trainer. And, uh, yeah, I think that's the first thing we're going to be doing is getting a brand new demon. All good. Are you guys in queue then, or are you able to log in? Because when I was resetting the internet, I had just endless amounts of problems with it. Oh, and I found another rune as well, I think. See you around. Quick turn that in. And then I found one of... A mage scroll, huh? I don't even know what that is. That's completely new to me. <laughs> Wait, can you sell them or something? Has BFD been cleared? I think it has. I think the uh, didn't none of the above clear it. What's on five? That is one of the new runes. This one, Demonic Grace, gives you a thirty percent crit chance and a bunch of dodge as well. They did, yeah. I mean, they're like they're level twenty-five in absolutely no time. But uh, yeah, I was also saying I found this unidentified artifact in Elwyn Forest. And uh, yeah, it, it came with a note as well, which just said Gakin, who is, of course, this fella here. So uh, we're going to see what this does. So I believe this belonged to an associate of yours. I found him dead in the woods. Show the note. Bloody piece of paper is hardly proof of association. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're on about. Ooh. Bit of a mystery. Okay, let's ask this one instead. Uh, Demi Zet, what's up with a note? Got that rune for Horde. Hmm. Oh. Okay, it automatically handed in. So you create powerless artifact. Offer your blood to power the artifact. So uh, I guess I click it. You can't do that yet. Shouldn't have had auto turning on. Need help? Yo, what am I meant to do? <laughs> oh no. It just says I can't do that yet. Ah. Life tap? It's a life tap a lot. 
Good for you found the rune and use it. It just says off your blood though. I'm tapping. I, ca I can't tap much more than this. Uh, do I, yeah, do I have to go back there? Around the demonic circle? Okay. So I already need to summon the uh, Void Walker and do that. The runes drops, or do you find them in the zones? Bit of both. Health funnel? Ooh. I don't have I didn't train health funnel. Let me go get that. You need a knife? Uh what kind of knife though? Do you definitely have to go back to the acolytes? I can do that. It's a bit out of the way, but. Uh health funnel. Use on the demon, can't use on myself. Hello, Nixter. How are you? Let's try tapping all the way down again. How will this artifact? Wait, what if I literally kill myself with Hell Funnel? Oh, it doesn't let you. Nope. <laughs> you have to go back. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can go back after this then. Uh, where am I going here? All the way down, right? And let's get ourselves. Huh? Oh, right, yeah, further down. Damn. A lot of Void Walkers being summoned. Okay, I'm gonna pray for a good name. I don't know how much we're gonna use Void Walker, really. I guess a decent amount. Get our imp to attack. Get our corruption. Our immolate. That will switch to us. And we can demonic grace that into a crit. And easy. Quest done. Characters look a bit different. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not quite there yet. One of these days, this will be what I look like. Yep. What's it going to take me to put the hidden characters in my intro? I don't know why I stopped doing that. I kind of just did. But if you watch the intro, intro to the stream, maybe there's something you missed there. Just saying. There, there could be a hidden character there. Okay, so I cannot show you how to control a Voidwalker until you have overtaken one. And there it is. 10 second cast. Summon Voidwalker. Let's see what name we get. Can't decide what to play between Mage and Hunter. I've seen Mage and Hunter are both very good. I've seen some people AoE farming with Mage and it looks insane with the self-healing. And Hunter are just, uh, yeah, super good. A lot of damage. The name is... Con Thang. Okay. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. Right, let's, uh, let's go back to that rune. And see what we can get there. Yeah, I, 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 I hear people say explosive shot, and it pops off. Oh, can you get any bucks? Let me just go check the uh, demon buck thing. Oh. Okay, I have 76 copper, so we'll do that later. Yeah, we can worry about that soon. Yeah, I thought Explosive Shot would be kind of average. The first time I read it, it just said dealt fire damage. And I thought, oh, you know, it's going to be one of these abilities in vanilla where it doesn't scale with anything. You know, it starts off being kind of good, but uh, no, apparently it's insane. Well, Server, I am on Wild Growth. You should be able to do an exclamation mark server in the chat and hopefully it will show. There's a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm thinking for my first ult when I get this guy at 25 and upgrade it a bit. I would like to play a Hunter or a Paladin. Well, they both look good. And uh, at the end of the day, I want to try everything out a little bit. Yes, try X. Let me try it, actually. 
I'm walking down here. This work? Um, apparently not. Okay, I'm on wild growth for you. Yeah, that that command should work. <laughs> Whoops. Shame you chose alliance. Horrible looks. Whatever could you mean? My gnome looks absolutely fine and not completely unhinged. Thank you very much. How long will the season be for? I mean, the the first season went on for it was over twelve months, so it was quite a long time. But I'd say at least 12 months, and it could be more. Yo, Guy Dynamo, what's up, man? Yeah, enjoying it a lot. I'm uh, still pretty early on, you know. I've seen some other guys streaming, and they're already pretty high levels. Um, not the highest level, but we'll get there eventually. The level cap's 25, right? It's not going to take long to get there. Level 25? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Imagine that. You get to level 25 and you're like, okay, enjoy. Uh, no, so what will be is uh, phased level releases. So we'll, the level cap at the moment is 25. And then after some time has passed, maybe a month and a half, maybe two months, they're going to raise the level cap up to 40. And then we'll have some more time pass. And then... What are you looking for? Okay, she, I was checking if she was selling anything. Then some more time will pass and I'll raise it to 50. And then some more time will pass and I'll raise it to 60. And most of the time we'll be playing at level 60. Uh, just because it's got the most content to do. So it's going to be like there's three big leveling exploration phases before we get properly into the end game. So it should be very interesting. I think this rune, we're going to go back and uh, find it at the altar, was up here somewhere. Do I have my mouse hidden? I do have my mouse hidden. That's no good. Let me fix that. Um, mouse, there we go, that's better. Thank you, Wade. Yeah, so I was saying, I think it's over here somewhere. So we're going to go check that out, see if I can find it again. Look at him fishing. Absolute Chad. Playing on the seasonal server, you know, some people rushing at 25, trying to get everything done. These people log in and uh, you know what? They, they just want to throw a line in the nearest lake. Taking it easy. Yeah, I'm on a uh, wild growth. Oh, yeah, I need to get that command working, don't I? Uh, wild growth for you. Are there any map changes? Um, to this thing, the actual map, this is an add-on, not the default map if you're talking about that, called uh, Leatrix Maps. But there are a bunch of new points of interest, um, one of which we're going to see in a moment. Ah, here it is. So, hopefully we use this rune here and something good will happen. Oh! It's happening. Blood offering. Decrease all attributes by 50%. All damage caused by 50%. And armor and resistances for 10 minutes. Huh? Fell powered artifact. Wait, I just... I, I just chose to give myself res sickness. Like, worse than res sickness. Do I take this back now, you reckon? Yo, what is this, though? Quick little mining break. Failed attempt. Come on, man. Okay. One tap. Take it back. Yeah, I, I guess we do. Uh, that is... Stout Lager in. That's, um, what you call it? That's a lot of my down, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want to hurt then. Okay, we're running back. We're cardioing back. This probably isn't the most efficient way to do things, but I want to see what the rune is.
No one's posted the meta rune. Yeah, it seems to be really well hidden. Uh, obviously, you can get it at level 25 because they, they showed it at BlizzCon and everything. But we just don't know where it is. Am I doing tank? I Yeah, I'd, I'd love to tank. Uh, if I can find the meta rune, I will tank. Ideally, at least by tomorrow, I want to tank a dead mines, but I'm going the wrong way. Uh, it depends on whether I can find the rune, because as far as I know, nobody has tracked down this rune yet. It's it's kind of one of the, the harder ones to find. I guess it is pretty cool though, right? You get metamorphosis, you turn to a big demon, you can tank. So that's going to be well hidden. Hoping it can be found soon. Mm. Uh huh. I don't know what other ones that people really want are super well hidden. It's in BFD. I, I feel like I've seen people who are early level 20s and they have pretty much all the runes. I, I think they want you to get the majority of them quite fast, really. So you can start playing about with them. It could be in a dungeon. I mean, it would make sense, right? If you put a rune, perhaps, at the end of Wailing Caverns or Dead Mines. Not seen Warbringer. Warbringer is a weird one, to be rare. What would what would warriors really want? Consumed by Rage? I feel like that's super good. But yeah, there are runes everywhere. The So the ones I found so far... I got Haunt. This is the first one you get as a Warlock. Uh, it's going to be different for everyone's starter zone, but I just got a quest in. It told me to go loot some chests somewhere. I found the chest. I learned the rune. Easy. Edge Master's rune. Can you imagine? Uh, next, we got Demonic Grace. This one was kind of neat. So, um, during the starter zone, there were two new items which I looted during questing. And then when I got to Shimmer Ridge, the bit with the trolls where you get the Shimmer Weed, if you know what that is, in Dunmora, there was a book that dropped that said, go use these two items you've collected in this book to summon a big demon. You summon the demon, you kill the demon, you get the rune. And then Master Channeler, which I can't use yet because I don't, I don't have Drain Life. I found this before Drain Life, uh, which I need to level 14 to be, I uh, learn. I talked to a random vendor that was walking about, and I bought some... It was like nefarious pie or something. And I ate the pie, and it nearly killed me, and then I learned the rune. So yeah, if you see random vendors, give them a give them a talk to. They could have something for you. Meta's got the demon part of Ashenvale. Oh, the bit with the um The guy that's part of the is he part of the light of the Alun quest line? Yeah, maybe. Uh, where is he? The I think he's around here or something. No. Mm, I know the one you mean, though. Orc. An orc guy, isn't it? Found Chaos Bolt in Elwyn. Oh, that's in Star Zones. I didn't find Chaos Bolt yet. Also, hello, Allison. Hope you're doing well. How long do you think the season will last? At least 12 months. At least. Maybe more. But uh, we'll see. I think they're just going to feel it out. Bottom right. Yeah, that's that sounds about correct. Right. Let's hand this in real quick. See what we get. So, fell powered artifact. So, last time we talked to Gakin. He said, I don't know anything about this. We talked to this lady here, and she said, I know what's up. So we're going to try talking to her again and seeing uh, if we can get another answer. Nothing there. From him. Oh. oh bro, I just automated it. I, need I was pressing the button to stop the auto. Man. To make gossip. Right, my bad. Well, <laughs> essentially, we got a new rune. Uh, I was pressing the wrong button, apparently. Rune of Tactics. And that is giving us Demonic Tactics. Increases your melee and spell critical strike chance for you and your pet by 10%. Well, at the moment, that is uh, better than Master Chandler because I don't have Drain Life. So I'm going to put that straight on. 10% extra crit chance. That's not bad. Hello, Sheik.
Uh, do you know I can submit the supply item? I do if you're Alliance. I don't if you're Horde. He thanks you for finishing the work of the Dead Acolyte. Trades you the rune. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, it's just a bit annoying that skip that there. It's a good rune? Yeah, it's 10%. Why would I go Alliance? I, I don't, the the gnome is like the the character that I rolled in twenty nineteen. I just guess I want to do that again. But uh, yeah, preference I guess. Holds outside the auction house and all sees. Okay, I guess it's the same in Alliance. I'll, I'll show you where it is anyway. Uh, since we're going to be heading to Westfall now. Yeah, we're gonna go Westfall. Wild growth, wild growth indeed. A dragon, yeah. Thanks for popping by. So this is the one over here, at least on the alliance, uh, just outside the auction house. Hey and a... okay, I've been pressing the wrong button then. But anyway, yeah, I just handed one in. Uh, you just come over here. And you can hand them in baseline without improving the box. Or you can put extra stuff in the box. I had one on me then, apparently. <laughs> and uh, you'll get some kind of better reward. I don't know what the reward is or how it scales up. But uh, yeah, you'll just have to find out. Uh, right, let's go on down to Westfall. A nice bit. Should I pick that quest up? Oh, it's, it's a thousand XP. I'm getting that. A nice bit of cardio in Azeroth. Nether goes amiss. Gave you some rep too. Oh yeah, true. So there is a new reputation in Season of Discovery called the Azeroth Commerce Authority. Uh, originally commissioned to facilitate trade across the Eastern Kingdoms, the ACA now maintains supply routes to Alliance forces worldwide. So is it called the same thing for the Horde then? I guess, right? Over here. Yeah, I assume it will be. The DSL. I don't know. ACA sounds more catchy. Hmm. A full box gave you 300 rep. Did you give you any items or anything? Six silver for 20 fish. One silver for an empty box. How much rep did I get? Was that 10? 100. It's not, it's not really that much more of a reward, is it? <laughs> uh, I guess maybe there's something cool with this rep later on, though. Like, who knows? Maybe maybe a late game, once we're level 40 or 50, you're like, oh man, I need to farm my ACA rep. There's this crazy trinket or something. What's my favourite region to level in? Westfall. And we're going there right now. And there's something kind of... Uh, I don't get tired of Westfall. I know Darkshore is such a good leveling zone for Alliance. But, uh, yeah, uh, we'll do Westfall first. We'll probably need to do some Darkshore, though, later on. What level am I? I am 12. Lots of cardio so far this stream. Yo, thanks, Eric. Thanks for dropping by. What's the good with Darkshore? It just has tons of quests and XP. It's very efficient. Um, well, if I just mouse over everything here, there's a lot of quests in one place. So yeah, it's it's just good. Now, all the leveling guides send you to Darkshore real early, but I kind of... Uh, I kind of like doing my little cardio route around these starter zones here and just going to Westfall and stuff. Ooh, we can do can we do Hogger. Probably not do Hogger. It's kind of a bit of a run back and forth. What talent tree? The plan at the moment is I'm just getting instant cast corruption. And then after that, 
I'm not sure. The thing is, right, so these runes, for example, is Haunt an Affliction spell? It should be, right, because it is in Wrath of the Lich King. So if I put points into Suppression here, is that going to affect my Haunt hit chance? Does anyone know? Like, confirmed. Yeah, as you seem, I'd assume so too, right? It, it makes sense, but you have all these talents in vanilla that are specific to certain spell schools. Runes in the spell book. Have I got an add on so it's not showing? I should turn the add on off quick. Um, this one? Let's turn them both off. Mm, yeah, it's not showing there. On Wild Growth? Yeah, yeah, I'm on, I'm on Wild Growth. The Destro? Nope. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. When I spent lower Destro, your Chaos Bolt cost went down. Okay. Yeah, I think it'll just make sense, right? Like, it, it does make sense that that would happen. Don't like Westfall specifically, but the dynamic... Uh, yeah, the Elwyn, Redwidge, uh, Westfall, Duskwood. It is just really well set up. I'm not going the most efficient through, route for it at the moment, but... Uh, and that one in. Hello. Every river pull and all about you. I don't think I'm going to be doing this. I went and looked earlier and there was about a million people there. So we are going to pass on that one. What classes do I recommend? I have done a full video on it, but... I think, well, for me, the first ones I want to try are Warlock, Paladin, Hunter. So we'll see how they go. And hopefully they're good. Hello. You need something? Who 25? Sure. We'll see what we got. As soon as it loads. Okay, yeah, we have a few. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is nearly a raid. And zero warlocks, imagine that. Not a single one. Will melee hunter be viable at 25? It's probably going to be at its best at 25, because... um. Yeah, Melee Hunter just doesn't scale well. Like, I think they've got a big problem with how they scale up over the levels. It's like, you compare it to... I don't know, kind of everything. <laughs> like, the thing about Hunter is they get one point of um, attack power per agility and one per strength. And if you're meleeing, you're gonna want strength. Just me as my Voidwalker holding aggro really well. Interesting. I, I feel like with my imp as well, it's not going oom as much as it used to. I don't know if anyone has noticed whether pets are scaling or something, but they just seem kind of strong. You are 666. Holy. You're cursed. That's region. I swear that they're, they're better in some way. They they just feel improved. Let's get all the things here. And that and that. Oh, I'm gonna get, run into so many bag space problems in a moment. Uh, that that is that is why I like Westfall right here. You can just do laps of the zone and everything is worth doing. I'm gonna go down Sentinel Hill. Pick this up though. I 
Don't like Rogue getting Shadow Step at level 3. What? I feel like Rogue has got kind of the short end of the stick here in the season so far. I don't know how different they play, if you know what I mean. Feels like you can Shadow Step something and then... You kept trying to build a few combo points and you eviscerate. <laughs> Yo, Kill. Thanks for dropping by. I'll see you later. Let's grab these. That one. That one. Macros. I only have two. Um, at the moment, I think. Which is this one. You can see that. Yeah, you can just about see it above me, Ed. Uh, which makes it so you can't turn one shooting off. So I can just press, you can spam your one button, it'll shoot stuff. And then this one, which just makes your pet come back to you. And that's it. Don't need a ton of them so far. And then, and do I set my hearth here? Because I'd have to run back over there. I think no. Westfall's a bit more circular as a zone. It like Sentinel Hill's quite central. I think I'll leave it as is. What is it? Uh, can I move Westy? I should do that instead. That's good enough. Flight point, good idea. Flight point, flight point. Joined the guild yet? Uh, I'm in the same guild as I am on Wrath. Uh, a bunch of the guys from it are playing. So I'm currently with them. Which is... CAA, there you go. Is this hardcore mode? Nah, this is uh this is die as much as you want mode, because uh, stuff actually hits quite hard. Okay, yeah, so let's not go and fight a level 17 boar, they'll probably one shot me. There's a hunter. Explosive shot. Looks pretty good. Not going for that? I'll go for it if he's not gonna. One life? No, no, no. It's it's just normal. Normal rounds. Nothing different. My pet's not doing that much threat. It feels like a reasonable amount. Like, my pet isn't miles behind, and I'm not holding back with damage either. Your first impression? Yeah, it's definitely different. Um, you know, if you're a super vanilla purist and you don't like changes, it might not be the ideal thing for you, but I think it's pretty fun. It'll be worth a look for a while. He's hit hard, though. I think at this point, if uh, my Voidwalker isn't holding threat, I just better use the Imp instead. He's doing better on this one. Okay, not a bad amount of uh, spawns around here. Probably farm out the Vulture bit. Like the music of uh, Westfall? Me too. I'm a big Westfall enjoyer. Has anyone found meta? I don't think so, no. They've hit it pretty good. Do 
got a video of macros? No, I, I could do an add-on and macro type video, I guess, but some of them are kind of warlock specific, I guess, and I don't really use that many in general. I think we're gonna do a little bit of a, a little bit of terrain abusing and stop some damage. Get the double here higher. Nice. Better can't be unlocked until level 18. That makes sense. Oh, Demonic Grace is free. I haven't even been pressing that. So with Demonic Grace up, I have a 40% crit chance at the moment on spells. That's pretty crazy though, right? Yeah, because I'd have, have Demonic Tactics, so 10%. Demonic Grace, which I can press every 30 seconds for 30%. If I immolate now, my Demonic Grace, and I Shadow Bolt into a Haunt, and they should both crit, or I'm unlucky. Oh. Okay, if that Boar Charge crit, I would have just died. <laughs> oh no. Woo. Okay, that is like the classic Boar experience right there. Did you buy or loot my wand? Uh, I just bought it from the auction house. I think it was about... 15 silver for a lesser magic wand. Probably more than you want to pay. But wands are just so powerful at a low level that I thought, you know what? I'll invest in it. It's worth it. Okay, we're done on vultures. Nice. How are the add-ons uh, add making abilities appear in the middle of the screen? That is uh, this one. Doom cooldown pulse. We do that. Back up. Demonic Grace. 40% crit chance. Shadow Bolt into Haunt. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay. And when Haunt crits, it heals you more as well. Very nice. How are the servers now? They seem good. Uh, they enforced a lot of layering. Apparently I have 10 layers. I don't think this is right, to be honest. But it's definitely pretty busy. Uh, so where do we want to go now? We need... We need to just kind of kill everything. The Harvest Watchers, I usually do this field over here. They're a bit less busy. We'll go to the coastline. Uh, try and get some grain. Get the Murloc Eyes. And get any boars that we see on the way. All right, Robin. Have a good one. Rune of Grace. Yes. Imagine Shadow Bolt Volley with this up. Hey, I don't know. That's That seems pretty good to me. Okay, Harvest Watchers. These are probably the most dangerous enemy in Westfall for Warlocks. Because for some reason, they are immune to fear. They're immune to drain life. They can crit you for 52. And they're immune to their pet taunt. I think I might die to the first one I've aggroed. You actually just have to use the imp for these guys. Or not aggro orange ones too. The one at Grace for the dodge. Didn't dodge. Oh, I'm casting. I'll dodge the next one. Okay. Haunt for the double heal. Nice. Yeah, these things are the worst. You, the better, it's better just using an imp. So then you can do the whole triangle formation, your imps over to the side, and then you hit it. I don't want to fight them when they're level 15. 
I'll just do this when I'm leveled up. Not worth it. How do warlocks get metamorphosis? I don't know, but if someone finds out, then that'd be great. Start up. Demonic Grace. Into a big Shadow Bolt and Haunt. It's good for casual players too. Yeah, this season's really good. It's like level 25. Anyone can get to level 25 pretty quick. You know, there might have been people who sweated out and cleared, uh, cleared up Black Femmes Deep day one, but you want to take it more easy? This is this is probably the best it's been in a while for you. Double crit. Only one. Hopefully it was Haunt that crit. No, it wasn't. It was Shadow Bolt. Nice. Let's get some Murloc eyes. I swear these mining nodes early on, it's just worth hitting them once, get the mining level and move on kind of thing. Like hitting it three times, is it worth it? Mm, maybe not. Uh, right, let's find some Murlocs. It's an elite imp in a cave in Silver Pine Forest. Hmm. What level was the imp? Uh, I might be able to find something equivalent. Yeah, yeah, maybe I couldn't find something like that. Shadow Bolt Volley replaces regular Shadow Bolt? I think so, yeah. So it might be kind of a nuisance, you're like, <laughs> I don't want to AoE, but I can't stop AoEing. Like, you don't have a choice. Nice. And that 81 heal is uh, so good. Like, I knew Horn would be such a good spell for leveling. I don't think it's going to be the best in raiding or anything, but leveling Haunt is amazing. Especially when it lines up with Demonic Grace. Oh, it's on a 20 second cooldown too, not 30. Haunt or Chaos Bolt for PvP? I'm thinking Chaos Bolt, surely, right? It just hits so much harder. I'll pull three here. Is it doable? It should be. Activate the big crit. One shot that guy. Okay, put him over there. Refear this one. New corruption. New agony. Pets looking good. Yep, yeah, skip that heal. And he zoomed now, so I think it's just melling. Three seconds till next taunt. I've got it. Nice warlock for you. Inventory's full. That didn't take long. That was this Disciples Vest of the Owl. Two intellect, two spirit. Over my my two strength cloth chest. That is the that is a vanilla classic right there. What is this, man? Mages, I swear. Right, let's put this on, get it engraved. Uh see so yeah, how we're gonna go with this. Uh, oh, wrong one. What happens if I put Master Chandler on this and I swap them? Actually, I won't be able to tell yet because I don't have Drain Life. But yeah, I, I can't really tell yet. What 
What's the debuff cap? The debuff cap should be unlimited, pretty much. Yeah, there, there shouldn't be one. As far as I'm aware. And the first Warlock Glyph is Haunt. Resist. Yeah, I need to go back up the coast a bit more. These guys are too high level for me. I haven't got a single Murloc eye, by the way. Not one. I guess they're the uh, eyeless Murlocs or something. Free Nightfall proc that heals you? Pretty much, yeah. Haunt is great for leveling. Increased mana regen? I don't know. It feels as though pets are stronger. I feel as yeah, I feel as though my demon would have been worse before than it is at the moment. Best to use for leveling add-ons or level organically? I mean, that's kind of up to you, but even if I'm playing solo, I would still use Questy. So I have a good idea where things are on the map, but it's just I don't know. I think it's worth using. If you don't want to take absolutely forever to get to level 25. But you know, you can uh, you can do you if you think it's a better game without add-ons or leveling stuff, then hey. It's, uh, it's your free time. No eyes? Okay, surely this guy has a... He's got at least one eye on him, right? At least one. <laughs> no, nope. Next one, though. What runes have we got? So far, we've only got a few. I use... Come on, man. This is... I know it's vanilla and everything, but this is... This is... This is bad RNG, even for this game. I'm going to pull this guy back. There's two Murlocs behind him. That'll be far enough. Wait. Uh-oh. I'm dead? I just resisted? No, probably be better to just fear him. Okay. Well, the cast bar didn't show up then, so I thought he wasn't casting, but he was casting. I think I just got really lucky, basically. <laughs> like, what is the chance to fully resist the spell? Oh, well. Not what they say. If you can't be good. There's two oracles there. We'll send pain. Yeah, fully resisting a spell like that. <laughs> I was... I should have died then, really. But I stayed in... I stayed in range because I didn't see him casting... And I'm not even using an add-on for the cast stuff. There's like a blizzard thing. Uh, which I can show you in a moment. I don't want my pet to die here. Haunt instant? Yeah, this version of haunt we have is instant cast. Not gonna die, are you? Not quite. He's got plenty of health. 11. You don't need a more than... You don't, the only health you need is enough to live. Right, finally, one of them has an eye on them. Dwarf Hunter? I mean, I guess the name is a giveaway. Let's heal this guy up. Is Destro viable for leveling? It... I haven't tried it. I don't think it'll be as good as Horn. Just because I think Horn is so good. Pull this bag, uh, guy back again. Don't want to mess with the other two. Nice. Yep. Yeah, you don't need any more than one health. If you have above one, you're good. Uh-oh. 
And the other guy is going to be casting now. Danger or... Yep, danger. And there's a coast runner after me. Right, this time I'm pretty sure it's a dead angle. Yep. To be fair, that was was that my fault or was that the rogue's fault there? Yeah, it was my fault. <laughs> when I saw that one spawn next to me, I should have uh, I should have probably just you know run a bit away. It's the rogue's fault. Blame the rogue, okay. Defy, yeah, guys, def equals delete. Uh, you know, we had a good run. Yeah, time to re-roll. Back to the valley. No, but these guys hit pretty hard, though. Like, these are... These are lightning bolts they're doing here. 67 damage. That's like a bit over a third of my health. Per lightning bolt, no, a bit under. Anyway, it's a big number. The moral of the story here is you can't trust rogue players. Imagine. If this season was death equals delete, then it'd be hard because. You know, they said that they buffed uh, enemies in the open world. I don't know if anyone's found that kind of noticeable. But it feels as though stuff does hit pretty hard. Also, thanks, Christopher. I appreciate that. Dude, <laughs> those shorts. Are you telling me my guy is not dressed to kill right now? I mean, look at this fella. He's got the shorts. He's got his jacket. He's got his little mini cape thing. He's good. Missing reagent soul shard. Oh god. Uh, let's have some of that. Do I have any water? I, I I don't even use water. That's where I'm at playing this character right now. <laughs> I don't have any. Wait, I had a health part. Oh no. I didn't even realise. Well, let's see if we've got any eyes, though. Ooh. Do I not delete? Uh, I, I I just like cheating, to be honest. That is the reason why. Oh wait, I'm just shard, don't I? Oh. Next one. Recommend Master Chandler. Yeah, when I get level 14 and I can go pick that up, I will be doing that for sure. Oh, you need a pet to use Demonic Race. Oh. Right, I'll get a shard off this guy. I think Voidwalker was seeming pretty good. Usually I don't rate it that highly. But at the moment it seems decent. Alright, I'll be taking a shard, Mr. Murloc. Thank you. Hey, Super Vira, appreciate that. He'll have an eye though as well, won't he? These Murloc eyes, man. The fires hit like <laughs> the fires pillagers. Yeah, they're gonna hit so much now. I'm gonna be doing half my health with each fireball or something. I have to LOS everything. Didn't you play a gnome? How tall are you? Well, just like my gnome, I actually ex look exactly like him, down to height and everything. So I am four foot zero. Yeah. I 
Uh, grow two again. Oh, someone else got it. Let's go for the big double crit here. Shadow Bolt into Haunt. Having 40% crit and neither one crits. Level 13 and an eye. Woo. Lucky. Why haunt over Chaos Bolt? Well, uh, I just didn't find it yet. I, I don't know where it is. I think I've missed it. I've heard some people say it was in the starter zone, but I think I would use haunt anyway. I'd try Chaos Bolt if I got it. But it's uh, low priority. One more point in Corruption will get that down to instant cast. So that will be a lot better. It's in the Frozen Troll. Oh, I think I know what you mean. The Frozen Trog. Oh. Yeah, I remember trying to defrost that. And I, I, it said it needs more heat or something. So I thought it was a mage thing and I left it. Well, I'll be, I'll be going back there at some point then. The Quarry. Yeah, I, uh, I saw that this morning. It's a mage thing too. You have to spam Immolite. Oh. So I used Immolite a few times and I just didn't think it was doing anything, so I left. Combo with a mage. Ooh. Well, I'll have to run back there later. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll go back and find someone. Four fire spells. Okay. That's not too bad. Two was enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll just try and get someone for that. Right, I'll just be right back one sec. Real quick. Coffee, man. What does it do to you, eh? Nasty and loud. I can't believe you do this. I leave for one minute, and this is what you do. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to go back and get that Chaos Bolt thing, because it would be interesting to use, especially if it's like 10 mana. That's going to be so strong. Is there a buff cap? No, I don't think there is. I haven't tested this. Um, obviously, because I haven't done raiding stuff yet, but I don't believe there is. It makes sense that there wasn't no one, right? Because everyone's got all these new abilities. <laughs> Imagine if you have all the new abilities and it's like, oh, by the way, uh, yeah, you can't use any of them. So, you know, have fun. Yeah, they removed it. Yeah, for sure.
The runes are percentage mana. Yeah, that too. It's it's actually such a big deal. Like usually, like demonic grace is free. Haunt costs twenty eight mana, which is a little bit more than my curse of agony. My curse of agony does eighty four damage over twenty four seconds. This does fifty two to sixty one instantly. Improves all damage over well all shadow damage over time effects by twenty percent, and it heals me. Like these these runes are so good, man. Uh, I think we want the boar intestines, right? Yeah, we'll destroy that. We'll destroy that. Is the pet scale a real thing? I cannot tell yet, but I feel as though they are better. It's a bunch of field craft at the moment. Also, Haunt's so good for mob tagging. Uh, Warlocks, uh, whenever I play them on a fresh release, they're absolutely awful at mob tagging. And now, you just press this button, and it gets resisted. You know, it's great. Fantastic. Hunter pets feel better. I feel as though they are scaling, but the thing is, you, you shouldn't be able to tell really yet. It might just be a whole like placebo thing, you know, you, you think they're scaling, so they are scaling. Is he okay? I think he's okay. He's a paladin. Yeah, he's good. It's like when you're level, even when you're level 25, you, you shouldn't really be able to tell. That one, that one. Hey, JR! How have you been, man? Has been a minute, huh? Yo. Nice to see you, thanks for dropping in. Yo, keep it shrifty. Uh, first of all, appreciate that. Uh, second, about the game mode. Yeah, it's going to be very different. If you're like a huge vanilla purist i guess and you, you like things how they were then this might not be the thing for you i know it's like the hot thing at the moment and everyone's trying it out and being like oh this is great but yeah i can understand you know if you want to play vanilla as it was then uh, this is definitely changing things pretty significantly you know boardwalk's having a hard time getting aggro yeah i don't know my guy's just uh He's insane at the game. Kondang is an absolute threat machine. Like, I put the threat meter up here. So I was thinking, like, he's just playing out of his mind right now, you know? He's not taking too much damage. I'm not having to health funnel him. He's keeping aggro pretty well. Yeah. And I seem to be on a layer that's pretty good. I was kind of worried streaming at this time that... Obviously, this is like peak EU for, uh, hours on a Friday. So I was thinking it's going to be so busy. I'm not going to be... I'm going to be like staring or trying to compete with 10 other people. But it's not been bad. Fingers crossed. We'll just keep going. Demonic Grace. Should have um, life tapped a bit more. I'm going to get the double crit. And I'm going to heal to full. Oh, ooh, that's a healing potion. Uh, I should have bought more bags, huh? Yo, Kumi, I am great. Thank you very much. Enjoying a nice bit of discovering some season. Oh, before shadow bombing. Yeah, I should put them up with my dots, really, but um, I, I do it with Demonic Grace. And when I have Demonic Grace act active and I have Demonic Tactics as well, I'm running with a 40% bonus crit chance. So it's like I apply my dots, and then if they both crit, the mob just dies. <laughs> and uh, I kind of don't really need to do anything else. So we're going to turn it on here. And if they both crit, there we go. 
That's why I do it in that order. And 40% crit chance is fairly consistent. As long as you're getting through one mob. Ooh, he's not good there. I can take them, I think, with my mob's health. Oh yeah, the priest got it. How'd you join the servers? The double crit again. Okay, real easy, I'll show you. So you want to go on your Battle.net launcher, go down to your game version, World of Warcraft Classic, log in through that, and then go to the um, realm list, and there'll be one called Seasonal. And just log in through that, and you'll be in. Yeah, I need more bags, though. I have not found a single bag. I had to buy two. Two of these small brown pouches here. I was like, you want Chaos Bolt? The thing about Chaos Bolt is it doesn't heal you. Um, and Haunt does. And Haunt healing you is a very big deal. Like, I'm not even using food and water because Haunt's healing me. We're going to dot them up. I'm probably like, I'm wasting a lot of this potential dot damage. But Haunt is healing me so much, it's kind of okay to do it. Yeah, plus 88, back at full health. I can life tap some more. No with Star Surges? I have no idea, I'm afraid. Any druids in the chat? Star Surge? Question mark? Into the double crit. Yeah, I'm wasting some of this haunt value because it's just healing me so much. Like 88 heal is... I mean, how much health do I have total? I have 273 health and it's healing me for like 80 or 90 when it crits. Like this ability is good. <laughs> I'll be taking that one. Yeah, for sure. A Warlock feels very strong at leveling. I knew they'll be good. I knew it. We'll see about the end game. Look at that little critter following him about. Wowhead has the Wowhead has a page. Yeah, I guess they will do pretty fast, huh? Let's try going a bit further in. You notice haunts and uh, it, yeah, our haunt is instant cast. I think they've kind of made it instant cast partly because of this uh, rune here. So if it wasn't instant cast, you'd cast your Demonic Grace, and then you'd have to cast your Horn, and then Demonic Grace would have run out, and you'd be stuck. Hunter feels good. Yeah, I hear a lot of good things about Hunter. Hunter seems very powerful. And it's kind of my first... First or t uh, second choice for an ult. Hunter Paladin. Bit of competition in here. Uh, for these mobs. There might be a group going. But I also need the bandana drop as well, so... Keep grinding. Having fun playing Paladin. Are you going Oom playing Paladin, by the way? Like, is mana a big problem? Or are you just... It's like everything base mana costs, so you're just spamming away and you're happy. So I thought some of these classes would have mana problems. Like uh, Priest, maybe Paladin. Uh, Druid won't have them, because it's got, you know, free, <laughs> a free Wrath cast. Which is pretty amazing. No mana problems on Pally. That makes me want to roll it even more. And spam seals. Ooh. That's good. Oh yeah, Crusaders. Yeah, of course, yeah. Recovers mana, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Oh well. It has no cost. Wow. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I've got Demonic Grace, which is 
30% crit and dodge. And it costs nothing. How about Priest? Are only people playing Priest? Are you going like Oom or is it fine? Because I thought Shadow Priest would have mana problems. Wait, life blooms free? Huh? There's no way. He's a warrior. Is he is he fine? Or oh, someone else is helping. I think a shocker dim build might pop up. Uh no. If I'm honest, uh, holy uh, holy shock uh, kinda sucks in vanilla. The problem is it has a 30 second cooldown. So unless you are literally global someone with it, it's just not going to be very good. Ooh, get the tag. We'll see though. Penance is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that is... I feel like Blizzard have a good idea of what should be your first rune. Like pretty much all the first runes I've seen are the ones which I feel as though are the best. Mm, garbage. Morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, it just feels good, like every class has got so many great options now to play with. Can't get the chest loot? Do you have the quest? For the uh, first item for the warlock. I think you need a chest for whether it's nearby where the warlock trainer is. You pick it up there and then you should be able to open it. No. Yeah, just make sure you have the quest. If you do have the quest, then I don't know, might have to relog. Uh, Brandon, uh, Kata. Ooh, it's the first time someone's asked, to be honest. I'm going to play it, definitely. I'm thinking about going healer, though. I think healing gets a lot more interesting than Kata. And back in the day, I played a Resto Druid throughout it, but I want to play something that always heals, if you know what I mean. Like, you're not going to really be expected to respec. I'm leaning towards Resto Druid, because that's what I played back in the day, but... I don't know. They might be one that's respecking on some of the farm bosses. Ooh. Wait, where's everything come from here? Viable to go destruction warlock. I haven't tried it. I don't think it'll be as good as haunt, but it should still be good enough. You know, you'll just be drinking a bit more. Gonna heal. Yeah, I've seen some people playing mage um, doing AoE farming and with the uh, living flame rune that does arcane and fire damage, it heals them so much. Like it, you, you, you wouldn't think mage AoE farming could get better and then you watch someone actually do it and you're like, okay, yeah, no, it is actually just better. The chest, you don't get the loot. I'm not sure then. I do not know. Uh, minor healing potion. I'll be fine. I just won't take damage. Yeah, I do need to update those. It's better. It is actually better. Yeah, you can pick Living Bomb and Living Flame and just kind of Living Bomb and gather everything up and then Living Flame it and everything just explodes. It is actually crazy good. Uh, so new gloves. So we'll get a new Haunt. There we go. Fire Arcane, one spell, yep. It is called is spell, spell Storm Damage or something, I think.
So yeah, both at the same time, which also means it should work in Molten Core and stuff, right? Fire one. Not bad. Fire's better than Frost. I mean, you can spec into Frost talents and still get these runes. Uh, the downside is when they crit, you won't be getting Ignite. But I still think Frost will be good. Fire will be good. If anything, you'd want to take Hit Chance talent, so Elemental Precision in the Frost Tree. And then maybe after that you go into Fire. But yeah, they, they should both be good. I've seen four more Trappers and two Bandanas. I think Kara will be five man or a raid. If I have to guess, I would absolutely say a raid. I don't know whether they'll make it into a 40 man. They have said they're going to do 40 man raiding again. But yeah, it will at least be a 10 man for sure, in my opinion. Now I'm looking forward to it. Because that will be entirely new, right? That's something we've never done before at all. 40 man BRD. I mean, it would be kind of fun, right? Come on, trappers. Yeah, arcane, arcane blast rune is hell to get. Good, good. We all need we all need a bit more mage suffering in the world. I think that's something we can all agree on. Best looking build so far. I, I really don't know. It's super rarely. I, I haven't been kind of reading everything online. I've just been playing the game, finding runes, seeing what's up, and uh, yeah, I guess everything will be known as time goes on. But I'm not worrying about trying to rush it all. I'm just going to enjoy it. Very Warlock thing today. Yep, I have to keep up the roleplay. I think Season of Discovery would be good for a, basically a new player to Classic WoW. Ah... Uh, that's kind of a tough one, right? Because part of going back to play Classic WoW is kind of seeing how it was and how things were different back then. And when you play Season of Discovery, I think it's kind of more for people who understand the game and can see how it's different. But on the other hand, it's a fresh release and fresh is always so hype. So I'd probably still give it, give it a go, but it might kind of spoil you a bit and uh, give you an idea of how the game is when it's not really like that. Oh, uh, Samuel? Yeah, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate that. I do indeed have Cam on for the streams. Little fear for you. Demonic Grace into a crit. Thank you. Come back over here. The balance through is lit. Man, I, I hope the I of everything, I hope the hybrids are fun. Like Balance Druid, Shadow Priest, Rep Pally, the enhancement uh, enhancement, shaman DPS specs, all of those, right? They deserve a break. Man, it's so good. I just want to try everything. But, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to re-roll so many different specs. I, I, I fully I fully think I'm going to have everything at level uh, 25. On this realm. Did they change respec costs? I haven't checked it myself, but I heard they have. Yeah. Uh, so I think it starts off at 10 silver now. Uh, I need three more trappers. I'm kind of killing the first thing that shows in front of me here. Let's see if there's some outside. Yeah, outside's real busy. Yeah, 10 silver, 20 silver. It makes complete uh, sense. 
because at level 25, like, we're all going to be so poor. Like, what are the gold makers at 25? The trash drops you get from mobs are awful. There's, like, no gold in it. Wrap up. Nice. Take that. Hello, Ant. Think you'd regret starting Warrior. Ooh. I don't know. Warrior's always been pretty solid. I think it'll be a bit of a slow burner. At level 25, you're not going to be great, if I'm honest. But level 40 and onwards, you should be absolutely going off. I think the best thing you've got early is the protection package, to be honest, with Furious Thunder and Devastate. But if you want a DPS, yeah, it might, it might be a little bit slower paced. Dual spec would be nice. Yeah, I mean, not even necessarily dual spec. Like, I, I don't think... There's enough changes in this game where, like, if they really wanted to put it in, I'd just be like, you know, okay. Wait. Um, but maybe a way to preset runes. I don't know how degenerate people would get with it. I need to stop getting backstabbed. I'm dying here. Yeah, that... 92 crit. I think that's a new PB. Yeah, early on they did say they were considering dual spec, but obviously it's not in, so uh, I guess they decided not to. We done here? Yeah, we are. Just Okay, yeah, it's updated now. And we are out. People will just have multiple bis items with different runes. Yeah, I guess, yeah. M m makes sense, right? <laughs> will we get dual spec later on? I don't know. I kind of doubt it. They might make an easier way to swap runes. I think that would be nice. But we don't know. Dual spec, yeah. You can, uh, I don't know, pop off. How long have I not had demon armor? Not good luck. Also, hello, John. Hope you're having a good time in the season. In Crusader Strike, I am not. I am on wild growth. I'm a grother. Grower. Whatever that means. And two warlock specific items. Malevolent mal <laughs> mal mal cake and soul shard and white soul shard. I haven't come across white uh, soul shard, but the cake, uh, if you try right clicking that, something might happen. Yeah, maybe you want to give that a go. Huge growth, exactly. I'm all about huge growths. Soul Drainer Critter. Ah, was that for the Warlock quest in the starting zone? Where well, there's that new NPC and he's like, I need the soul of something innocent. Oh, I remember I remember seeing that yesterday. I, I didn't know what it was about. Yeah, well, that's going to be an another one to go back and do. Agility spirit. Um, no, nah, I need flask of oil, need okra, light feather. Yeah, I can get rid of those. Mage scroll, not sure. Foreman vest, eh, it's one silver. I guess we hang on to it. I need more bag space. Oh, he's having a bad day. He's having a bad day. 
Oh, yeah, he still he still got ripped. Oh, that's unfortunate, brother. Back to the Sentinel Hill. Right, we're going to go down here and start getting some null poles. Realm, I am on wild growth. EU. EU. For some reason they've called them the same names for EU and NA. I don't know why they've done that. Further south. I don't know what level these knolls are down here. They might be kind of high. Level 13. We'll go see though. Because the there are knolls all the way up this coast and down here. This is this is what I like about Westfall. You get choice, and uh, if you know a bit more about the zone, you might be able to find places where other people aren't. Still looks pretty busy though. Can we get some oats? There's some oats. Uh what do I what do I delete here? Uh this mage thing. Someone said they went for like vendor price on the auction house, so we're gonna hope they were right and delete it. Got his blade dance up. The Sunfire's got graphic from Holy Fire? I thought it was Sunfire. That's what I saw when the uh, I was looking at it online at least. I change server? Nope. Still wild growth. Uh, should be I'll get the commands working next stream. Because exclamation mark what, uh, server should work, but uh, I don't think it does. I appreciate it, CJ. Thank you. Right, this looks fairly decent. It's just a better moonfire. Yeah, I mean on retail, it's um, it's like AOE moonfire, right? But it does nature damage instead of arcane. In the bags. Uh, all right, Shadow Jam, you're gone. You know, no one's going to be paying a decent amount for this stuff. Oh no, I'm going to get spell knockbacked on this, aren't I? Yeah, not quite. Did get debuff though. On Twitch as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm streaming on both. Um, a Twitch account I haven't used in ages, but yeah, just watch on whichever platform you prefer, I guess. Uh, where's my Twitch? There you go. Do you think they added more itemization? I would hope so uh, from BFD, the new items and stuff. Because it's already the case in vanilla where everyone's sort of rolling on the same items. But yeah, they could add a, a bit of lever. They don't really have to add uh, male spell power gear to level 40 anyway. Because it's not like shamans and all the rest you can't wear mail till level 40 so I, I guess we'll have a bit of a wait there it looks insane i can't wait to see it but yeah i'm just gonna wait until uh, i finally get there join a raid and then we'll see what's happening hello swoopy Yeah, I think this this part down here is yeah the level sixteen. 
There's a few level 13s. We'll, we'll try a bit further down. Where's Meta? Don't know. I, I, a few people have asked. We've no idea. It just hasn't been found yet by the looks of it. Now we'll have to go further up again. We'll try the uh, Harvest Reapers over... Over here, I think. Think you should try the season? Yeah, I mean, it is very different from Classic. In pretty much... Not like every way imaginable, but the class pacing of what's strong, uh, how much damage you deal, how much damage you take, it's all just changed dramatically. Ooh. Should I go for some uh, some sand? What do we think? Level 19. Oh, he's going for it. Is he? I mean, if he's not going for it. I want my sand. I need somewhere to kite this guy, really, because this is probably a terrible idea. Okay, good job. Good job. Go on, Kontang. He's doing great on the threat. Activate Demonic Grace. Go for the big double crit here. Sold it. I think we're still good though, right? Okay. I don't know. They must have buffed pets. Like, he's keeping aggro so well. Let's try it here. Okay. Uh, just... <laughs> Just to land the first sphere on a level 19. Bit of fire sky, callback pet. It's level 17, that's bad. Resist into a resist. Pet got stunned there. Bad. I'm gonna go for a crit here. Resist. Go for a fear, right? Surely I'll just land it first time again. Never mind, he stopped to cast. Another resist. Yeah, Void Rock Aggro on, on original classic was terrible. Like, it just seems better. Right. So he should be slow enough now where I can just cast. Not bad. Do we get a sand though? Well, can't will it all. He hasn't leashed yet. I mean, I kept hitting him. He shouldn't have leashed. Still, though, level 19 at level 13. That's Warlocks for you, isn't it? If you can fear it, I guess you can kill it. Or just run away fast enough. I'd, I'd only feared it once. Let's get that. And we need the watch here too, right? Yep, yeah, compass. Ah, oh, man, what do we do? What do we delete? I'm going to my bags every 10 minutes having to delete something. Pain. Small eggs. Rip. Compass. There should be Defias Pillagers over here too. Or around here. There they are. How much health? Seven twenty percent of his health in one fireball. Okay, yeah, that's uh, that's about what I expected. So when's the server over? I guess in at least 12 months. But overall, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure, you know. I think Blizzard are going to feel it out and decide, okay, this phase has been long enough, but let's roll out the next one now and so on. Master Chandler feel good? Yeah, it, it should. I, I don't know whether I'll use it. What? Oh, I have Master Chandler, don't I? Of course. I think I'd still use Demonic Tactics, you know. Like, the 10% extra crit with Demonic Grace just... Like, they work really well together. Right, pain from the Harvest Watcher time.
I just think, uh, how long? 20 phase? Uh, 25 phase? Yeah, probably what you said, about two months. As they go on, there's generally more to do. It takes more time to level up. Uh, all of that stuff. So I think this bit we have right at the start will be the shortest. Uh, level 60 will be the longest by quite some margin. What, spec? I'm just like, standard. Just getting corruption to instant cast. And then I'm probably going to go some three points in suppression so haunt doesn't miss. It's haunt missing is kind of annoying. Bit like that. <laughs> Two months is too long. Depends how many alts you want to run, right? I'd expect at least a month and a half, like minimum. Aiming for destruction or affliction? Hmm. I, to be honest, I haven't really thought it through. I guess affliction, usually I'd just go down to a siphon life build and eventually... Yeah, just siphon life and then pretty much focus on drain tanking. Runes have been great. The uh, yeah, the, the level 1 to 20 paladin experience is usually not reputed to be the most exciting of leveling uh, leveling journeys. Hoping for three as a casual player. I don't know if you'll have three, if I'm honest. I think two will probably be fairly good by the time it's about two months. What I'm wondering about is like what ha what happens to the BFD raid? On like Ashen Vale as a world PvP zone. Is it just it's dead content, right? Because when we're level 40, we're doing Gnome Regan and maybe Scarlet Monastery. No one's going to be going back to do Ashenvale, are they? I don't know how they're going to incentivize that. Ooh, nice heal. Yeah, I don't think we're fighting those two. I'm just going to leave that cloak there. That gear that's a bit of extra armor, uh, you know what, I'm good. 29 twinks. Uh, I mean, will there be though? I feel like there won't be. You can't turn XP off in vanilla. If you could turn XP off, maybe? Maybe? Couldn't they just scale up to 60? Possibly. I mean, I, I just kind of doubt they would. It's like the typical World of Warcraft thing. We have new content, we play it for a couple of months, new thing comes out, content irrelevant. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's how it's been for so long, man. Name for the add-on for the dots above stuff. Uh, it's a weak aura, so you need to install weak auras, this add-on. And then just... Uh, um, how do I copy this? Copy... Yo, chat, where do I get the link for this? I don't know how to do it. Oh, oh wait, I saw it. I'll do it in a moment. Threat plates. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of add-ons that do this. Oh, two harvest watchers. Not what we want. Or tidy plates. Yeah, I'll just... Search uh, wago.io and then debuff some nameplates. Like any of them will do the job. I don't, I don't know how much I'm doing running around this fence here. I, I should go to a longer fence or something. I'm just trying to not die. Like if he crits me now, hey, Haunt healed me. Wait, I think I uh, added the 9 on the end there. There you go.
you already have Meta? Nope. Unfortunately, we do not know where Metamorphosis is. I guess we have to, uh, discover it, eh? The Arise of Ashen Vale. Yeah, I think, yeah, someone was mentioned it earlier. It could be from the uh, Orc Warlock guy. Am I dead here? The pot. Harvest Watchers, man. This is, a, this is actually the hardest part of the game as an Alliance Warlock. It, it doesn't get more difficult than this. They are just a nightmare. And I'm out of health pots. I have to try to get some on the auction house. They should be pretty cheap, right? Let's get a double crit. Don't cancel my cast. Just about. Yeah, it's like a, it's like yeah, it is very much like a what if a classic. You know, what if we had these extra abilities or these new raids or this all the other stuff? And who knows? At the end of the whole thing, maybe this is uh, the classic plus alpha or beta, right, guys? This is all going to lead up to something bigger. Maybe Antonio Pirelli has runes. You say that, I got one of my runes off a uh, random vendor. That I just happened to ins um, see what they had. So yeah, he actually pretty well might do. Uh, what did I get? Um... I got Master Chandler off some vendor in um, Lock Me Down. Okay, I'm dying again. Harvest Watchers. Oh, someone's healed me. Thank you. Okay, five more of these. RDS broken on Wrath, is it? Yeah, I've, um, I've just been kind of raid logging recently. I did, uh, I was leveling up a DK a little bit and using the RDF. Go for the double crit. Could be in trouble here if this guy crits me twice. Let's try and get the movement speed slow on him. Mm. Okay. Bit close. <laughs> Bit close. Yeah, we are max range in this guy. I am two crits away from death at the moment. Paladin bro is watching out for me though. I'll, I'll take that. No idea. I mean, they're not going to put RDF in vanilla. Like, there's an, there's absolutely no shot. Don't even worry about it. Don't worry about it. Like, whether you want to or not, it's kind of whatever. Like, I just I just don't see a world where it happens. That is. That's people just won't take it well. I think whether you want it or not, there's uh you should be you should tend to be in proximity because of the different level brackets to dungeons you want to do anyway. So I think like it's it's kind of alright. And it's not like hardcore where you feel as though you have to vet your team and you know you, you don't want to bring any idiot in your group who's gonna wipe you and stuff like that. And 
Harvest watches are done. So we need... Can I not get the pocket watch? Oh no, that's the... Um... It's one at the other farm, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One at the other farm. So we need Gortusk livers. No pause. And the pocket watch. Where'd you add the link for debuffs? If you download Weed Chorus and then do uh, forward slash WA in your chat, it'll bring up this. And you go here to import. And you copy the Weed Chorus string, there'll be a button on the website. You just copy and paste it here. And uh, then press import and we'll do it. Right, let's go find some gnolls. You know what I'm wondering about for druids? So Nomrigun's going to be a raid, right? They, they've confirmed it. It's going to be a level 40 raid. Are they going to do anything about manual crowd pummeler? So if you don't know, manual crowd pummeler is an item from this guy here. And it's got three charges. After those charges are up, you can't use it anymore. And increases your attack speed by 50% for 30 seconds. And because druids don't scale directly off their weapon damage, this is like the best weapon a druid can get. Ever. Like, <laughs> this will beat stuff you can get in Nax. It's it's dumb, but it's vanilla. And if you're really min-maxing, you have to go and farm these. And I wonder if they will change that. Holy crap, what is going on here, man? Look at this farm. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I, I guess if you need to farm some Defias... The uh, Trappers and Looters over here in Westfall seems to be a bit of a hyper spawn. There was a rune that implied weapon scaling. There was for feral tanks, yes. Not cat DPS. The cats are still in the Nomragun prison. You can just get it once and use it forever. Seems kind of powerful, because... I don't know, are, are druids kind of balanced around the fact you can't always have crowd pummeler up? Is it going to be too good in PvP? I don't know, maybe. They data mine a version with no changes. I mean, they could, the item might still exist, but is something else going to be there as well? So like, you could get it at level 27 or whatever weapon it is, but then there's another version you can get. It didn't have charges back in the day. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, that's the first I've heard about that, actually. Oh, no, no, no charges, not no change. Okay. I guess, uh, you know, classic WoW guy. You're used to reading no changes, huh? Yo, Ragbro, what's up, man? Uh, we need some gnolls here. I think we're going to get kind of... Uh, I'm not too feeling too good about these camps up here. I think they're going to be over, over camped. I also need to get the pocket watch from here-ish. Yeah, we'll head over here, get some balls on the way. And well, how Raf, how's Raf going? Raf's good. I I guess I beat the game. We did a Lich King 25 heroic week. It was week four or five. Fun fight. Definitely a step up for classic. And after that, I've just been raid logging. I guess I'm waiting for Ruby Sanctum and then uh, Kata. I doubt I'll be streaming Kata, by the way. Um, I think uh, like part of the reason I want to stream this is because it's all new and people are finding out stuff together, and that's kind of uh, a big reason I want to do it right. Wouldn't it be better to just add more feral attack power to weapons? Well, they did not TBC and uh, it worked. So yeah, it's a, it is a solution. Still on plywood? I am indeed. Yes, sir.
Okay, so the watch is... Huh? Where's the big farmhouse? Am I at the wrong farm? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's up here, it's up here, it's up here. Oh, thanks, Carbon. Are the queues built still bad? Well, I am on Wild Grow for you, and uh, put it like this. When I logged in about, about two hours ago, I got in instantly with no queue. But before I logged in, I went to check Living Flamey you, and the queue was so large, nobody else could queue. Uh, so I guess the, the answer to that depends pretty heavily on where you play. Are any new quests so far? Yeah, a bunch. A bunch, yeah. Uh, we did one at the start of the stream for one of the uh, runes I have. That's differing per server? Yeah, absolutely. Server, uh, queues are on a server-by-server -server basis. Wow, well, growth is packed. It should be busy now. Yeah, with the time of day it is. Wait, I don't need boars, do I? Why am I killing boars? I'm just killing them for fun. Yo, Rebrox, how you doing? Are the supply things? Yeah, just outside the auction house in any uh, capital city by the looks of it. You can turn them in with without the items, just by themselves, and it'll give you a bit of rep and some gold. Not gold, silver. Or uh, you can fill them up with whatever item they've said and you'll get a bit extra. You won't be streaming Kata, but you'll still be creating uh, content for Kata? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I will still do content on YouTube for all things Classic WoW related. Uh, you know, I guess Kata isn't classic for anyone as it used to be, but... You know, if that's what Blizzard decide to do, I'll be making content for it. Well, what we do know they're doing that, right? Let's get this. Ooh, what's this? Harvest Reaper prototype malfunctioning needs a new engine. That's new. That is new. Do these guys drop it? Because I've already done 20... I'll try one or two. You drive it and kill mobs? Oh, so it's not like a rune, it's just for fun. I'm dying again. Engine? Nope. Yeah, we need to do nulls anyway. And get uh get some corn. Uh yeah, I haven't got I haven't gone the best route in here. I've just kind of been running around talking. Yeah, we need corn before we go back up there. We're gonna have to go back down again. Of the League History videos. Oh yeah, I like to do more on that channel. It's just, I've had so much to do with WoW recently. Saying that, it's not like I've uploaded for three months, but yeah, I, I do hope that channel kind of picks up a bit more because I've played a lot of League over the years as well. So it would be fun to do. Hey, hey, yo, what's up, what's up? Looking forward to Kata. I imagine a lot of people are, yeah. I think it actually is going to fit quite a lot of people very well. Where if you're more interested in... You kind of want a bit more challenging raiding, but you don't want like retail mythic difficulty, which is just ridiculous. Uh, it's a good kind of medium between the two. It's chill not to be playing hardcore. Yeah, I feel that. I uh, I did get a Hunter to 60 on it. And after level 50, I just, I don't know, it's like you're kind of nervous when you're just playing the game normally. And it's not always what you really want. Sometimes you just want to chill out and play the game. Not think, oh no, or, you know, am I going to disconnect now? Uh, you get to Ironforge, you're like, okay, don't fall in the lava. And yeah, it's not always the most chill environment.
Hello, Lee. How you doing? Streaming again? Yes, I, sh I should be on fairly regularly. There's going to be a lot to do, a lot of classes to roll, a lot of runes to find. It should be good. Check in for oats. These handful of oats are pretty much everywhere, but they're kind of hard to see. None there. How's the warlock feel? It's pretty strong, yes. Very squishy. I've died. I've only died once or twice. Died once today. Uh, it's just a, a pulling too many murlocs, like classic. Hey, crap, there's a lot of dudes over there. Farming tier 0.5. I wouldn't be able to farm with tier 0.5 on hardcore. But I did a 60 and then I just kind of said to myself, you know, I've done what I wanted to do at the moment. I'm just going to call it there and leave it. But I am interested for the uh, solo set. Oh, <clears throat> solo? Uh, the self found mode they're doing in. Hello? Why is this guy aggroed? Uh, they're saying they're doing it at the start of next year. I think that's going to be fun. Uh, I played loads of Iron Man on RuneScape, old school RuneScape. And uh, yeah, I always enjoyed it a lot. I think there's something kind of cool about being a character which is sufficient for what you get out of the game. And just having to... Not everything's just there on the auction house, you know. Maybe you need a silver leaf or something and you're not herbalism, right? And you, you have to go on Wowhead and type silver leaf and see which mobs drop it and then you go farm them. Or uh, druid for the earth root for the poison cure quest. There are some mobs that drop earth root. So if you're not a herbalist, you have to go farm them. No CSS ghost, thank you. How have the servers and everything been? Yeah, it's been fine. Day one, I I got on I got on super fast. Like I swear I was one of the first people to log in, and I got kicked off for an hour, and we just kind of stared at the login screen. Which wasn't ideal. Handful of oats, yep. You play it on a trial account? I do not know. Probably not, if I'm honest. But you can try. Maybe you can. And yeah, this is my first character. My first of many, no doubt. Hunter seems crazy. Yeah, I'm thinking about... So, I've got the Warlock at the moment. I'm going to be playing that to 25, you know. Getting all the runes, raiding, trying out different builds, tanking, DPSing. Just doing everything, right? Uh, and then... At the moment, the alts I like the look of are... Hunter and Paladin. The only problem I have with Paladin... Is five five minute blessings. Like, I really wish they would have increased the duration on those. Like, I can put up with a lot of the, you know, inconvenient type stuff in vanilla. Like, I know, Hunter Pets and Soul Shards and all these other different things. But five minute blessings, like, come on, man. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. And you don't get any greater blessings at all until level 52 or 54. So yeah, it's uh, it's a long old wait for that. A few people down here. 
Isn't Horn of Lord Runner kind of greater blessing? Uh, I guess it replaces my. I don't know how long it lasts though. Does Horn of Lord Runner last five minutes? Any paladins? No. Oh, this is a beefy pull over here. Ah, man, these camps. These camps. We'll, we'll pick a few off, then we'll try that. Two minutes. Two! <laughs> How did they make it worse? <laughs> it's like a seasonal server, and they're like, you know what? We, we, it's too convenient, isn't it? Yo, Volta, I appreciate that. You've been around here a while then, huh? So was it any good though, videos back in 2019? That's where it all began. And still here. Classic World of Warcraft, fresh server released. And it's just incredibly popular once again. Like, there's something about this game, man. It is just so replayable. Druids were meant to be alliance specific, were they? Hmm. I guess that kind of makes sense with where Moonglade is in the world. Paladins just seem so alliancey now. Maybe they rework them a bit. Just run in. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, if two or three of them pull, I can just kite them forever and kill them. We didn't want five. They haven't split pulled either, so they're going to chase me forever. So I'll get this guy, and then we're going to have to get that one, then run back. Right, we'll try it. We'll try it. Oh, he's level 16. I have a health pot? Nope. Oh, bottom pet is pretty low. Don't know if I'm going to be able to do these last three here. I can't do that last one. I can't do the other two. Decent attempt. I think I can run away from this, right? He's a brute. These guys always hit really hard brutes with these maces. Yeah, he's resetting. Ooh, close. You were hiding little gnomes in the videos. Yeah, I was. There was one in the stream intro. Season of Discovery, was it any good though? I mean, it's looking pretty good at the moment. But there's a lot of season left to get through. How many did I kill then? Was it three? Three out of five. That is... That is respectable. Ooh, best. Scroll of Stamina. I need to get another shard as well, don't I? Oh, pulls, yeah, it's really rough. Rip Thang, don't worry, I'm sure he'll be happy to be back. Hey Pete, name looks familiar, thanks. I appreciate that. Demonic Brace on. You can't uh, dodge and stuff when you're wanding, can you? There we go. Right, because wanding counts as casting. I think that's right. Another mage scroll. Ooh. I might save these up and I can play a mage eventually. Oh, I 
I'll need two more poles. Wasn't this kind of melee focused? I've heard about that, but I've never, like, at the same time known it's confirmed to be a thing, one way or the other. I think mages having... I'm just going to delete this, I don't think they're worth much. Ma uh, not mages, priests having extra threat on mind blast is kind of just a class flavor thing. Like, you're blasting someone's mind, they're going to be pretty mad about it. Ones have an invisible Casper, yeah, thought so. Right, on to the next four. The all four of them are brutes as well. There's two that are at sixteen. Demonic Grace, dot there. I just don't want that level sixteen one hitting stuff. Yeah, his brutes hit way too hard, man. I have to land a lucky dodge here. Oh, never mind. Okay, haunt. Haunt's coming back. Let's save Mr. Confang. Oh, oh, ding. Yeah, nice. Let's, let's pretend I plan to do that. Level 14. We can get Drain Life. Ooh. Also, I appreciate the help. Fellow Warlock with the Chaos Bolt. Very nice. I had to go and learn that myself. There we go. So, last pull. We'll, we'll go get the other one. Yo, I appreciate that, Alex. Thanks for watching. Talent points. Actually, that's a good point. That will be instant corruption. I just really like having instant corruption. It feels like something you just need on a warlock, you know. And after that, I'm probably going three in suppression. And... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know after that. They're kind of all decent options. Actually, for a one-timer, I do have Weapon Swing Timer installed, which I could use, but it's not like a big deal. As, if, as long as I know you can't dodge during it, then obviously I, I can't try and make the most out of Demonic Grace for that. Isn't four enough? It was, it's either four or six, isn't it? For stuff the same level as you. Any news on meta? I wish. We'll find it eventually. Well, someone who's a higher level than me will anyway, because uh, I'm level 14. <laughs> Do you want to take all three there, or nah, someone else is getting one? Fine, we only need one more port. Surely we will get one back on the way up here. Meta will be OP. I'm looking forward to the meta a lot. Like a lot. I'm going to get meta and tank, I guess, everything. Meta's on the cash shop. Ooh. Get a nice meta bundle. Allows you for five rune uses, and then you have to buy another. Hmm? How about that? Bargain. Yeah, I wasn't really planning to, uh, planning to play tank warlock, but... I do want to give it a go. It looks fun. 800% value, yo. So good. Hello, Kalana. Um, so yeah, it was just the one pour, wasn't it? Oh no, we need two more handful of oats too. Yeah, I've just been kind of running about. Not the most efficient leveling you've, you've ever seen here. That's for sure. 
Egod, he's a level 18 paladin. Can you inspect other people's runes? I you just have to, uh, like, mouse over stuff, don't you? Seal of Martyrdom. He only has two runes on at level 18. What are you doing, man? And there is a, there's a lot of paladins. Paladins and warlocks. As far as you can see. Runes and enchants can coexist? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You have a weapon called Gillsbane that has a buff that has a chance to harvest Murloc's soul on a warrior and I can't find what it does. You see anyone doing that? I've not heard of that. I'd just go find, go kill some Murlocs, see what it does. Right? That's kind of what this server's all about. Discover stuff. Linen. I should get Linen, actually. I need bandages. I'm stopping to cast my corruption. I don't need to anymore. So used to it. Farming Merlock's not seen anything. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a low drop chance. Proc chance or whatever it is. It's weird seeing warrior go for the most played to one the least. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Okay, if you play a warrior, like by the time we're hitting level forty, they're going to be good. Level fifty, they're going to be even better. Level sixty, they're going to be absolute beasts. I think they're just going to have like a kind of average start to the season. No pull. And, uh, oh yeah, we need the oats too. Need to watch out for those. I'll get them on the way up. He'll be fine. You're playing that. Yeah, a warrior is, warrior is playing the long game for sure. Gonna give Druid a try? I think everything sounds pretty good, yeah. I've heard a lot of people like the, uh, Wrath that costs zero mana. It's pretty strong. We'll see, yeah, what Brad said, Turnip. Try killing Murkai with it, if you can. He's a name Murloc, that could be it. I think he's like level 18 though, or 20. He's quite high. Uh, nothing there. they plan to tweak runes if they're OP? They already have, yeah. They've tweaked plenty of them since the uh, initial announcement at BlizzCon. Like uh, Warlock, for example, you used to have Fear. Uh, no, you used to have Curse of Recklessness as your taunt in meta form, and they've changed that to be Fear. So you can't just sit in meta and fear people endlessly anymore. So there'll be plenty of changes, this stuff is just way too good. Donald, four hour queue to join your friends and they, it says you can't make ca faction characters, that sucks. It should let you know in advance. Um, but yeah, that is part of the PvP changes they've made. Um, if one of the factions is too represented, they'll stop you from making new characters. And as far as I know, Living Flame, both on EU and NA, is like hyper full. So yeah, you, you might have to look at another server, perhaps. Or, I don't know. Things might not change, right? Because it's, it's not just the queues, it's the faction too. An alliance tends to be more played in vanilla. But unfortunately, the Blizzard devs have made posts about it and they've said it is what it is kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, I can't help too much on that. Right, I need one more port. I was expecting walking literally from here to here, I'd find one null to kill. Apparently not. Don't really understand why it's so full. 
I don't know. It's it's just PvP servers tend to be more played in vanilla. I think everyone piled in because it's a living flame. What was the other one? I know. Maybe it's just got a cooler name. Right. Simple as that. Okay, they can just all spawn together. And I hit this guy and it pulls one. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, come on, we've done... We've done three level 16s before. These are going to be easy. A lot of streamers. Yeah, that could be part of it. That could be part of it. He should run in fear now. Switch you over there. Look how well my pet's tanking, by the way. Still got full aggro. Two mobs. Barely lost any health. Well. Finish you'll finish Duskward, then hard stop. Uh, I guess Duskward's even a bit... Not a single poor come. Duskwoods end up being a bit of a high level, yeah. I'll see though. I don't know how hard I'm going to chase like full bis or anything. We just wait for the respawns up here. I need one paw. Oh, and one oats. There's an oats. Mid hunter pet growl a proper taunt. Yeah, if you gl if you glyph, if you ruin it, yeah, it is a proper taunt. It, the void walker one isn't. They just seem to do pretty good threat, which is nice, you know. Running warlock yourself, hoping to find meta. I mean, good luck. Uh, there's a lot more people higher level than me, and they ain't found meta yet. You gonna have a full completed quest list at 25? I don't know, man. I just don't think I'm gonna. So even if you do have a fully complete a quest list. How far is that really going to get you? Like 27 and a bit, maybe? What are we thinking of the season? It's pretty cool. Um, it's taken a while to level because the servers are just all really busy and there's queues on some of them, which isn't ideal. But yeah, if you can find somewhere where you can log in and play, it's, uh, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm liking it a lot so far. It's not going to put you ahead of the pack. I mean, it will, a bit, right? At the end of the day, you are ahead in XP. But just a small amount. I'm just going to wait here. If I don't hoard, you'll shout it out. All right. Well, I mean, best of luck. It seems pretty well hidden. One more pull. Will all characters go to error? I don't know. So they, Blizzard were asked about this and they essentially said they haven't thought of what's going to happen yet. Because if these characters go to error, you're going to have spent, if you played the whole server all the way through, Maybe 12 months, maybe more than 12 months with all these new runes, these new changes. And then you go to error and it'll it'll feel like you've lost so much of your character's power. Uh, which I don't know how many of you guys, you know, played from Legion to BFA, stuff like that. Wasn't fun. Uh, it's not it's not good losing like half a dozen abilities. Yes, these have spawned up here. Oh, this is painful, man. One more paw, please. Killing Murkai with it got you the endless rage rune. Nice. That is that's a good one. Is it? I think it's fairly good, yeah. They can just make it into a real classic plus. If they do classic plus, they'll be fresh again. Uh like hundred percent. And doing it fresh would be the correct thing to do, I think.
I'm like waiting somewhere for a bit and I go somewhere else and I see one and I go towards it and then it dies and I have to go somewhere else and then another one spawns and then that dies and I have to go somewhere else. Ah uh, yeah. Classic. This is yeah, this is classic equals now. Uh it equals something a bit different from what it used to be. You know, I'm going back down here. I'm just getting this last pour. And then we're going to go turn in a bunch of quests. And I want to go get Master Chandler. Hello, Steph. How are you doing? Borrowed power was a prominent issue in Legion. It was so much fun in Legion when you had everything. But then you just lost it all and it felt terrible. Like when you had all the stuff, it was great though. Tired, you're just in 20. That is, uh, I mean, if you're level 20, you've been playing a fair bit, huh? Already level 14. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not exactly the most fast leveler. I've been trying to, uh, you know, obviously chat a lot about the game too, so. I'm definitely not at the peak of efficiency, okay? Put it like that. I'm I'm literally walking back down this zone to get one null pour because it's annoying me not having it. What's the played? I have AFK'd a fair bit, but my played at the moment is... Um... Uh, uh, so we've got 9 hours 25 minutes for level... 14. So yeah, not exactly super fast or anything. Not the fastest. <laughs> leveling speed matches the personality. I mean, usually I'm uh, fairly reasonable at leveling, but it's different when you're streaming, right? Yeah, it does change things up a little bit. Can you re rename Warlock Pet? Uh, nope. No, nope, I don't think you can do that till... I don't even know what expansion you can do that in. You do that in Wrath? I've never tried to do it. One more pour. It's a scribe thing. Oh yeah, yeah, the, it's like the contract or something, isn't it? I feel like you can rename your warlock pet at some point. I just have no idea when. Actually, the scribe thing might just be for hunters. I think about it. It's like scroll of rename your pet or something. Certificate of Ownership. That sounds about right. Uh, yeah, so new runes so far. I've got Haunt. Got that level 2. Uh, it's the same as the Wrath version, but it's instant cast, so it's super powerful. Oh, hang on. And if I, uh, I just yoink one of those real quick, yeah? Thank you. He, I'm sure he wouldn't mind. He, he would have wanted me to. I've got Demonic Grace. I got that from a sort of uh, collecting some items and summoning a demon, then defeating it. Which is a bunch of crit and dodge. Demonic Tactics is just, again, a bunch more crit. And he didn't have any pause, that one. Typical. And Master Channel, which turns your drain life into a damage over time effect. Which I can't get yet. Well, I can get it, but I haven't learned Drain Life from my trainer yet. But I'll get it soon. You haven't got Chaos Bolt? No, I uh, I heard about that on the stream. I saw it this morning, the trog in the uh, the quarry. 
And I, I thought it was a mage thing. Like, I immolated it, and I just didn't realize I need to cast it some more. But yeah, I can definitely go back and uh, pick those up at some point. Probably do that off stream, because it's quite a lot of running back and forth. He says, uh, running down the entirety of West Fall like four times in a row. Need two, need two locks with imps. Oh, with imps. You have one in Elwyn for chaos. Yeah, I might look that up instead of going all the way back over. It, it is kind of far out the way. And I, I get the gist of it. And the rune impl implementation shakes up the gameplay yeah absolutely in a huge way like i'm already playing a class which is pretty good at leveling to be fair a warlock but like if you're playing a druid or a paladin or a shaman or any of these classes which have got crazy runes then it's gonna feel so good with all the changes i bet There it is, finally. Okay, let's go turn some quests in. It's been a minute, huh? I didn't change my hearthstone, did I? Nope. Westfall never gets old. I love me some Westfall. It's kind of a it's kind of like the Alliance version of the Barons. There's not a huge amount there, but it, it just feels good to redo it for some reason. Definitely my favourite zone in the game. You know, I have Master Chandler. I, I, yeah, I do have Master Chandler. I just don't have Drain Life. I need to go train it. I just got level 14 a little bit ago. I got the chess runes from so master channeler was i found a random vendor like a, a, a wandering trainer near thelsimar in Loch Medan, and i talked to them and they sold me like some sinister pie or something and you ate it and it taught me the room so yeah there's that and then demonic tactics there was some dead acolytes in elwyn forest let's not die at this Should have to put my part on him yeah there's a dead acolyte it was a bit of back and forth you, you talk to the, well, you didn't talk to the acolytes, he was dead, but you search his corpse, you get some runestone, you take it to a warlock trainer, uh, they send you to go and do something else uh, back where the acolyte was, and you take it back and you'll learn the rune. Which key do I walk forwards? I use ESDF for movement. Can you do that as a human? I guess. But I think the item is going to be on multiple different vendors. Yep, ESDF. Oh, one said, hey, I missed it. My bad. <laughs> Need help? Okay, so we're getting the... Ah... Uh... Let's get the cloak. Two agility. Agility's okay as a leveling stat. Haunt is nice. Yeah, haunt is so good. The master challenge changed it to a dart. Remove the heals. No, it should heal fifty percent more. It's just it does it does the damage portion as a dart. Um, actually, we... I'm going to keep this because there'll be stuff for any for quests and I'll send the rest to a bank out in a moment. But yeah, I remember when I was learning keybinds, um, I was teaching myself how they work. I remember using uh, WASD and I was thinking, man, if I move my keybinds one over to the right, I'm going to be able to press so many more things on my keyboard. 
And uh, yeah, I, I did that. And uh, that is just what I learned to do. And I've stuck with it ever since. Nice. What can I do for you? See you later. Hello. And sell that. See you around. No, it's any bots. Not yet. Uh, but we are playing World of Warcraft, so there will be in time. I'm sure. Tabs harder to get to. Uh, I again, you just get used to it. You just get used to where everything is on the keyboard. Yeah, same with shift. The thing that's annoying to reach is control. A lot of games put like modifier keys on control and you legit cannot press control. But uh, when games use control, I just rebind it. So yeah, that, <laughs> that's my solution. Yeah, I only use Shift or Alt, uh, which are both fine to get to for me. And in here, Need help? Harvest a Robe. Is that better? I guess it is. I don't need Intellect, Super Hog, Summer Warlock, and a bit of extra health would be nice. Well, let's check out the... Uh... So we're going from this to this. I'd say it's a, an improvement, maybe. There we go. New rune acquired. Not new rune, new chest. Well met. See you around. Can I Inventory is full. Be careful. King's honor, friend. Use bartender. Yeah, I usually use bartender, but I just I'm kind of used to using the default UI as well. Oh, I needed 4 3 for that, didn't I? Uh, I'm just going to sell that to be honest. No one's going to buy it. For the alliance. What can I do for you? There we go. What can I do for you? Thank you very much for those quest rewards. Please let me instantly sell them all. Thank you. Go with honor, friend. And now we go turn up over here. How am I finding it so far? Yeah, it's been great. Eleven spots are very busy, but after yesterday, they seem to have put quite a few layers on. I don't know if this is correct. I don't think it's ten layers, by the way. Uh, there'll be, there's a decent amount, however. But yeah, I've been enjoying it. It's been good finding the new runes, just getting hold of new stuff, all of that. Yeah, it's been great. Hand in that, hand in that. And I need to go to Stormy now to... Train, um, train my level 14 abilities. What do you reckon's faster, running or flying? Do I go back down to Sentinel? I think I go back down to Sentinel Hill and fly. Go on layer 10 on the RP PvP. Okay. Maybe it is real then. Yeah, it doesn't know what layer I'm on. I was on layer 10 yesterday though. What stats would I go for? Leveling a warrior, agility, strength, both. A bit of both. Definitely a bit of both. Uh, agility is good for crit, gives you a bit of armor, gives you... Does it give a bit of dodge for warriors? I think it does. It's just like a good general utility thing. Uh, but strength is where the damage comes from. But both are fine, really. Hey Nick, what's different from normal classic? The big difference is the rune system. So when you travel around the world, you do quests, you'll come across new points of interest, new NPCs, all kinds of things. Uh, you'll get runes and you can learn them and then you can put them in your spell book. You see I've got a few here. And you can get these runes and then use them on certain pieces of your armor. And it's going to modify them and allow you to just do something different that you couldn't do before. Uh, like I've got Haunt here from, it's pretty much the Wrath of the Lich King version, except it's instant cast. And... Aside from that, the level cap's currently 25, which will be later raised to 40, then 50, then 60. Uh, there's going to be an open world P event, PvP event in Ashenvale. Black Thumbs Deep is a raid. 
all kinds of stuff. So yeah, if, you, if you've been interested in Classic WoW before, I'd say it's worth giving this season a go. It's also just, it came out yesterday, right? So really popular. Scrounging Fringe from the meta rune. Yeah, the, the meta rune is a tough one. I, I kind of like that, right? There's some runes that, even though there's so many people looking for it, like thousands and thousands, we still don't know where it is. Good day to you. Let's go on over to Stormwind. So yeah, there's a lot of different things. I'm on Twitch at the same time, so you can witch, uh, watch on the platform you prefer, pretty much. So they, they only changed that recently, where you could do that, and I figured, <laughs> might as well, right? <laughs> Why not? If I'm going to stream, uh, just put it on both platforms. Hate the caves with the spawn rates, yeah. Caves have always been a nightmare, for sure. Yeah, and this isn't permadeath. I don't think they're going to do hardcore mode for the seasonal service, to be honest, because the whole point is you're trying to discover stuff, and part of that's kind of trial and error. Like the master, <clears throat> sorry, the master channel rune I got earlier, I, I had to eat some like sinister pie, and it crit me for about 80% of my health. If I had res sickness, I would have died, and I, <laughs> I would have had no way of knowing that was going to kill me. So uh, yeah, I think I think it's better off it's not hardcore, you know. Yeah, for sure they wouldn't they wouldn't mix too well. And hardcore, yeah, they have their own servers, right? Uh, we we don't need to make everything hardcore. If you want that experience, you know that's there too. Right, let's go get Drain Life. I want to test out Master Channel and see how good it is. Also, I've got a bag. Uh, I might go buy some other bags. I have 45 silver. Yeah, how much is... How much of my ability is going to cost me? I do want to buy another bag. I supply only the finest goods. 25 for 8. I kind of want a 6 one. Yes, there we go. 5 silver. I will do that. Thank you. Uh, let's sell some stuff. I just don't need food and water. I haven't been using it at all. Buff food. I mean, it's kind of whatever. It's not hardcore, right? You don't need buff food. I think I send all this to alts. I... Ooh, the storm wind music. Again, I just, I just don't think I need extra food and stuff. I'm just going to send this all to my alt. We'll keep a stack of linen. And we'll send the rest off. Using the food buff on your warrior. Yeah, maybe it makes sense. But um, my warlock privilege. I don't even use food and water. And that, and that. Hardcore's good to watch, bad to play. It's a bit stressful at times, but those death confirmation clips, are the, they're the gift that keeps on giving, you know? There's just something about the creative ways people come up with dying. It just doesn't get old. Your Holy Light ranked 3 at level 14 is 34 silver. Uh-oh. That's expensive, isn't it? Yeah, but druids, you're not going to need any food or water, are you? Just spam wrath, stuff dies, use your instant healing touch, and you're good. What's the most played class? That's... Uh, I don't have an add. There's an add-on called Census Plus, which automatically goes through slash who and takes counts of how many, how many players there are, what classes there are, all of that stuff. I should go and I'll install that later on. But if I had to guess, the most played class would be something between Warlock or Hunter.
Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of warlocks. I mean, I, I, I probably didn't help that situation where I'm like, I've made a video and I'm like, yo, warlocks are going to be amazing. Uh, so drain life, we're absolutely getting that to uh, Master Chandler. Oh, man, I've got all these new abilities. They're messing up where I usually put stuff on my bars. Uh, so corruption rank two, need that. Curse of wreck, it's kind of nice, but I don't absolutely need it. I do have 21 silver though, so I can afford it. Curse of weakness, it's like, nah. <laughs> Nah, I ain't even spending a few silver on you, Curse of Weakness. Alright, let's go and play. Let's go and test Master Channel. Let's see how it is. Hunter or Pally. The only reason I don't say Pally, and I think Pally is so popular, uh, is that it's Alliance only. And that is really it. But yeah, I think Paladin is very popular. I'll show you the vendor here that sold me the pie thing if I can find them. Um, they were walking up and down this road. It wasn't him. Altar of the Light? Huh? Uh, is this some priest thing? I guess. Yeah, this looks like some priest thing. Meditation on the light. Or maybe paladin. Could be both. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where the vendor is, but he was round here. Um, map add-on is uh, Leatrix Maps. This one. Just realized I died ages ago and I haven't turned track mining back on. I, I need to like get a weak aura on my screen to say turn that back on. I swear I always forget to do that. Right, let's hide those. Lock my down. And where are we going? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll try up here. Think it lets you change your racials? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it was data mind, wasn't it? Something about priests maybe being able to change their racials, which is super powerful. Yeah, the Void Walker back. Void Walker has been good so far. I should have I should have checked the new ranks of abilities. Oh well, <laughs> too bad. Uh, is mine play twenty yards? Well, that's how it was in vanilla. So I would uh, I would expect the answer is yes. Also, I've also realised I haven't been using health stones at all. with sack yeah i need to i've only got torment at the moment i need to go train that okay master channeler i knew someone's gonna yoink it so i didn't want to put the dot on it i should have hit it myself okay he has 229 health get about 200 there we go 200 health Amp. it would help if i put the rune on first yeah, generally you want to do that. Okay, big tip. Don't need to watch a video to know that. Uh, let's put that on there. Change that round. And there we go. Drain life. 110 mana, 15 second cooldown. 20 yard range. All I need now is a kobold. That runes OP. It should be great against higher-ish level enemies. Like, I feel these guys are going to be way too squishy for it to see value. Uh, just because I'm out leveling this area a bit now. Oh. Oh, it looks like that, does it? It's healing me 
15 a tick as well. Wait, and I have Haunt. Hold up. Yo, that's kind of good. What? That's kind of good. Damn. And this is with no affliction talents. Like, you can make drain life quite a bit better through this tree. Like, you have, um... Yeah, Shadow Mastery and Improved Drain of Life. Yeah, and it'll scale, yeah, it'll scale with Haunt too, won't it? Gives you a buff for finding runes. Oh, okay, yeah, this, I see. Makes sense. Okay. Is there an add-on for rune chat? Not yet. I mean, there will be, right? It's just the, it's the way things go, what people want to know stuff, but... If you desperately want to find a rune, Wowhead is probably your best bet right now. Or you can ask in chat, maybe I'll, maybe someone else has found it. Well, Haunt, that, Corruption... And he's just dead. Like, that's it, he's dead. I don't even need to do anything else. I can just run in circles. Uh oh. Wait, I'm dying. Master Chandler, you. Mm. I'm healing a lot. Oh, Haunt's back up. Master Chandler's back up. But I'm kind of boom. It does cost a lot of mana, to be fair. Yeah, if you're getting the full duration, that is that is pretty good. Drain life can proc nightfall. Ooh. True. True, yeah. So you can have this stop drain life that's proccing nightfall. That's really interesting. And that I should put corruption up second really. Oh yeah, okay, this rune is... Uh, I'm taking this over Demonic Tactics. Yeah, I think I'm sticking with this. This seems really good. The only problem is it getting resisted. And it costs quite a lot of mana. Now I'm having to life tap, I'm having to life tap so aggressively. <laughs> and my health bar is just like, it's going up, it's going up. Haunt wears off, it just keeps going up. Uh, right, so we need some... There you go. Oh, resist. Yeah, that's the problem. This is why I need to put points in uh, suppression next. Because a resist is so bad. Yeah, you can mana tap and drain life at the same time. Is That's something I didn't really consider, but... Pretty good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely an affliction spell. Like, I was kind of questioning whether Haunt is an affliction spell because it's not specifically in the spe uh, affliction spellbook. But Master Chandler is a modified version of Drain Life, which is an affliction spell, right? Shadow Burn improves Shadow Bolt. Yeah, I guess you don't have too many extra points at 25, but. They both seem pretty damn good. Oh, need someone to yoink the tag. And I'm healing so much, I'm doing like a billion aggro. Let's try up here. A flex from my gun PvP. Uh, yeah, it's, um, this Master Chandler's a... Uh, it's a magic effect, right? Let me just do it here. Yeah, it's magic. So it's quite weak. Uh, haunts magic too. Yeah, they're, they're all magic. So like, if the if the other team has a priest, they can just clear everything you can do in like two globals, and you don't have unstable affliction yet. Maybe you do in the future. We don't know that. I think in one v ones, and. Just small-scale PvP, as long as they don't have a priest. 
uh, you're good. And paladins can't remove magic this early. They need level. They need cleanse, which is 30 something, I think. 36 maybe. Spell horn, you get the health back. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it does say that in the tooltip. You're right. That's nice, at least. I pray they'll allow dots to scale. That is the concern. Yeah, because when I made videos about it, I was just like, you know what? This looks like a great leveling spec, but when it comes to raiding, it's going to suck because ultimately dots don't scale. Uh, and that has not changed so far. Um, I, I think I got it right. This is a great leveling spec, but in raids, especially the more crit chance you get, stuff like Shadow Bolt, Shadow Bolt Volley, Chaos Bolt, Fire Builds with Incinerate are just going to really overtake dot base builds. There's a lot of competition for getting mobs though, isn't there? I don't even need to cast Agony. Yeah, I really don't. I mean, it it takes over so, such a long period of time, it's not worth it. These guys all, are also low level though. I feel like I'm not getting as much value out of Demonic Grace now. Um, I don't have another rune though. For my legs. Raiding would just be demonic sacrifice. Yeah, I mean, pets don't have avoidance, so you're gonna... If you're using a pet, you eventually at level 60 you'll be doing Shadow Mastery Ruin and having an imp, which is AFK and phase shift, because they die to anything. Uh, I don't foresee that changing with how things are at the moment. Gonna go for Shadow Bolt. I really want to find Shadow Bolt Volley and try it out in dungeons. I think Shadow Bolt Volley looks absolutely cracked. Like, there's no way it's not OP. Uh, so, he's five more ears in here. I'm probably running about a bit too much, but you know, I'm just trying, playing the game. Yeah. My Kobold. Is Shadowbot Volley like Rain of Fire? Uh, no, so for what I've read from it, I haven't used it, so I don't know for sure, right? But it says your Shadow Bolt hits up to five targets. Oh, it changed to five targets within 10 yards of your main target for 20% reduced damage. So basically your Shadow Bolt is an AoE. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. Uh, you gotta love Haunt for pulling. Warlock's usually so bad at getting snap aggro like that. But it's like arcane missiles. I think it's just gonna be exactly what Shadow Bolt Volley is like when enemies use it. Um, you'll just press the button, it'll, fi it'll shoot five Shadow Bolts, and that's it. Yo, man, I'm on wild growth EU. But yeah, I think for raiding, the meta will still be Demonic Sacrifice, which... I kind of hope they change that, right? <clears throat> I hope they change it. Because you're a pet class. I'm surprised that ticked. I thought he was going to get that. You're a pet class, right? Or a, a demon class, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, you, you never use your pet. You just sacrifice them. You have to go all the way down this talent tree and pick up, spend 20 points just to sacrifice your pet. It is a bit janky, right? Guildmate found vo a volleyball. like the sound of that. We save him. He is a mage. He'll be, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, if there is a rune I wouldn't feel bad about looking up, it'd probably be Shadowbot Volley. Then again, I'm not going to take it for leveling, because when are you hitting five targets? Wild growth, wild growth is the way. Yeah, I expect I'll try other servers and stuff. But for my main, I, I definitely want to be on a PvE server. Just because it's uh, it's better for like when you're trying to chill or stream or just chat about the game, you know. Like, well, PvP events can be fun and that, but just not a, uh, not when someone else decides when it can be initiated. If you know what I mean. 
Do you want a hint? Go on then. I will take a hint. Corruption 5 targets. Yeah, imagine Master Chandler. Corruption 5 target, uh, targets. And then volley them. Unless it shares a slot. Oh, it's in Darkshaw. Oh. Is it from that one demon guy you kill in the Furball camp? As a guess. Because that seems right up Warlock's Alley for dropping something. Zabraxis or something. Perhaps. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I mean, good to know. Good to know. Uh, this is a Wii Cora just called uh, Debuffs on Nameplates. Yeah, if you just search on wago.io, uh, you should be able to find that. Or priest, man. That right there is where you take penance. I'm trying to mob tag with Shadow Pain. Pain. Uh, really ain't it. Lock me down for gnomes. Um, okay. Maybe it's from uh, the sort of Trog General quest down here. That'll take a while to do, though. Because there's three different parts to that quest. Yeah, I'm really liking Master Channel, though. This deal's very powerful. I'm not using Demonic Grace anymore, though. Um, so I don't need that double crits. Master Chandler's just absolutely melting the health bars. Uh, let's go hand these two in. Yeah, Dark yeah, Darkshore won't be the only zone it's in. That's the thing, right? Like, you could find one rune one way, and then someone else finds it another way, and, like, you're, you're both right. It's... I just hope the server can carry on sort of on this same, you know, path, I guess. Where there's multiple ways to find all the runes, it's just really interesting to play. And maybe, you know, at later, later level camps we get different metas coming up. Maybe we get a Smite Priest that works. Maybe we get Shockadin. Two-hand Enhancement. Uh, a, a Warden kind of... Maya of Shadow, uh, Shadow Song, Ranged Rogue. You know, there's so many different ideas Blizzard could do. And that's, uh, that's kind of why I like the season so far, you know? No PTR's huge, it is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Robe of the Keeper. That's an upgrade here. Yeah. I'll take the stamina. And that's a level 15. Uh, so we're definitely going one point in suppression now. I just want my spells to hit. That's a big priority. And we are going to swap that out. I will take two extra stamina over two spirit. I think that's better for Warlock. And we're going to re-rune that. Nice. And now we need to go do Trogs down here. Yeah. There we go. Enjoy some of that. Ticking for 18. Oh, I've over aggroed. That's the struggle. And do each other's races one too? Yeah, that, that, that totally makes sense, right? So you miss it in one zone and then you're in another. You can pick, you can pick it up and still get it done. Warrior doesn't get Titan Grip at 60. No, there is a room called Single-Minded Fury, um, which is, it's basically, they, they put it in the game in Kata, so Fury Warriors could dual wield um, regular one-handed weapons instead of two-handers. And it's in Season of Discovery and it gives you 10% extra physical damage and 10% movement speed. But uh, I doubt they would have it. Then again, we have stuff like Chaos Bolt, Lava Burst, Star Surge. So yeah, maybe they do decide to put that in. Imagine if they didn't tell us about the runes. I, I think it's okay. Maybe they could have released a bit less at BlizzCon. Because they really gave us a ton of information before we even logged in, didn't they? Um, and I kind of wish they encrypted the data that was on the PTR to some extent. Because like they, they do it with retail, right, for um, 
cinematics and drop things that bosses drop. Like when, uh, was it Echo? Got the world first in a and be Idris still, man. I feel like I'm pulling out these words I don't really know that are true. Uh, doing Fire Act. No one knew it was going to drop that two-handed legendary axe, did they? And that was really hype. So they can encrypt stuff if they want to, but they just decided not to. See the What's Next teaser? Yep, I checked that out yesterday. The, um, I guess, big takeaways. They, they, they memed on two-handed enhancement a bit. Like if you're a shaman enjoyer and you want two hand enhance, I think you're going to get that at level 40. It's kind of confirmed in a way. What else was that? Nomragon uh, confirmed as a raid. That's pretty cool. I have to imagine there'll be Scarlet Monastery at level 40 as well. <laughs> X was so unknown, they forgot the icon. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember seeing pictures the day after. Like, whoa, question mark. You go to high level zones, you can go anywhere you want. You'll die, but you can go there if you want to. At what level can you get Chaos Bolt? You can get it at about level 8 to 10, unless you're me and you uh, you, you missed the queue where you, where you meant to get it. Yeah, but you can get it very early. I think rogues are going to be viable. I'm not... Look, I'm going to be honest, I'm not sold on this whole rogue tanking thing. The, just, the lack of AoE, the way they have to build up their defensives over time when they're in a fight. The fact, if they get stunned, they're, they're like, imagine your feral druid tank gets stunned when they go to drink a health potion out of form. That's what rogue will be. They did buff Deadly Brew, though, for Mutilate, or Assassination, I should say. Uh, to where you don't need poisons on your weapons and they will treat them as if you did have instant poison, which is such a big buff. And your poisons will scale with attack power. So um, I went from kind of a bit lukewarm on rogues to actually think they're going to be pretty good. Uh, same with combat. Combat, they haven't got the most exciting stuff, I don't think. They've kind of just got better Sinister Strike, which is called Saber Slash. And that won't really come online to level 40 because they're just missing a bunch of talents. Rogues are still one of the best. They'll be good. I, I, I'm honest, I don't think they'll be that great at 25. Still, dual wielding melee, physical DPS just tends to do good in this game. So, you know, I could be wrong on that. Wish they put a dungeon in Duskwood. I mean, there's um the big dragon. What's he called? Amorous. It's not quite a dungeon, is it? But uh, it's something. Not respawning here. I will try over this way. Do we know how the PvP will work on PvP event? I just got layered. Huh? What was that? Weird. Uh, do we know how the PvP event will work on PvE servers? No. Um. Yeah, no. I, I, I don't know. So it could it could go a, different, a few different ways, right? So it could be like Wintergrass, but it's kind of an event that lasts a certain amount of time. And you're force flagged. Uh, it could be like AV where, you know, you're flagged, but there are PvE objectives, there are PvP objectives, and you can do a bit of both. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I kind of I kind of do hope it flags you, though, or it forces you to. Because it'd be good to do PvP for at least a bit, right? Because people just don't tend to flag otherwise on PvE servers. Um, and if there's, like, just a PvE route, I guess that's fine as well. Is it out now? Yeah, it's out now. It's just not many people are on a high enough level to do it. I don't even know what it involves, if I'm honest. Let's see how many 25s there are. 10. And three of them are in dead mines. The boosting meta has begun. Strongest damage at 60, given the runes so far. 
Ah, that's hard to say because I'm going to release more runes in the future. Uh, so I, I can't really answer that. But Warrior is still insane. Um, Warrior scaling is going to just go through the roof as it always does. I think Warriors with will buffs will still be the best at level 60 with our current runes. But still a lot of things are going to change between now at level 25 and then at 60. Someone on your server paid 20g for cruel but how do you have 20g that man's been swiping hard to get that there's no way we're just sitting here on 100 percent health yeah that has to be uh that's either cap or uh, that's a swipe. It's one or the other. Love doing Tolbarad. Yeah, Tolbarad was alright in Kata. The thing I remember about it the most was standing on the bridge right before the battle ended. And then just as it was about to end, you ran across the bridge. And the game thought you were in Tolbarad and you got the extra rewards. Uh, what's this? It's just a weak aura called debuffs on nameplates. Uh, so yeah, install weak auras, the add-on. And then search that add-on name on uh, wago.io. And that will, uh, that will sort you out. Told bro I was dead. I remember the actual meta in of it being kind of bad. Like people would just... One area would get overrun, and then people would go to that area, and then another area would get overrun, and they'd run to that area, and just kind of repeat for like half an hour or however long it was. Is he dead? Ooh. Close. No, oh, thank you. Following since the beginning. Oh, you've been here a while then. And we're still here, still playing classic, still having a good time. Demonic Grace there. We're going to hope for some dodges here. Need to tap. Ooh, I'm going to have to fear here. I can't really tap again. Still Oom. Um. Going to heal from that one. Everything's hyper spawn, so I'm actually going to run. Partly blame you. Oh, okay. As long as it's only partly, you know. I can't be fully to blame. Oh, good die here. Okay. Yeah, it's this drain mana thing. It just it just costs so much drain mana, drain health thing. It takes so much mana up. I might nearly die in. Right, so we need two more trogs and one scout. And obviously, the scouts themselves are not trogs. They're completely different, you know. You can't kill a scout and it's a trog. The trogs are trogs, do you know what I mean? Has Blizzard an uh, answered world buffs? No, uh, if anything they've added more world buffs. So I think when you get to level 60, we'll have the Chronoboon if you remember that from 2019 where you can kind of store them and use them later. But uh, I think they'll be making a return. Been here as well, Philip? Damn. A lot of OGs. Three mob pull on low mana. Yeah, I think it was um, Haunt critting that healed me for about 80. Yeah, I feel like as though I need to press Demonic Grace a bit more. Uh, since I've got Master Chandler, I'm just not finding as much value in it as I used to. Here for the beard, I will accept your presence. How many different characters have I leveled? Oof, on retail, on classic, combined? Uh, a, I don't know, a big number. 
Probably not more than 30. To level cap, that is. I leveled everything. I leveled every class during vanilla in 2019. I leveled everything to level cap up to BFA. I didn't cap everything in Shadowlands. And then I've leveled a few characters on hardcore. I'm going to end up leveling pretty much everything to... I'll, I'll start off on 25 on this server. 60 on everything again is kind of a lot. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I guess must be somewhere from 25 to 30. I've played a little bit of World of Warcraft over the years. Once or twice. The dots crit? Unfortunately, no. What's on your no. Maybe they will though. You know, fingers crossed. I think dots need some improved scaling. Or they're just not going to be too relevant. Well met. Don't think haunts and affliction one. It resists more. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Still quite plenty. Yeah, it's a few. It's a few. Yeah, and we can always press Shadow Bolt. Can't go wrong with a Shadow Bolt. You're unlucky. It might just be a bit more noticeable, you know. What was going on in your brain when they mentioned they want season of discovery characters to go somewhere cool or fun? I guess just go off the uh, go off the track a little bit and see if you can find out something that you may not have known was there. Um, which I'm definitely done with some of the runes so far, like the one at the start of the stream for um, demonic tactics. It was a bit of a back and forth to get it, so it is pretty cool. Oh, he's bubbled. He's in trouble. He's got that, I think. Yeah, he's a warlock here, I'll manage. Got the haunt. Just need him for the I think he'll be all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll be able to pick that up, Hexen, when I head over there. Demonic tic tacs, mm, delicious. You know where the warlock tanking rune is? Unfortunately, no. But everyone's looking for it. Alize, who gets the reference? Someone will. Why do you use a rotating minimap? I don't know. I'm just used to it. I actually think it doesn't make sense and I use it. It's uh, it's just a thing that I'm used to it looking that way. I, I use ESDF for movement. I have a rotating minimap. Uh, which apparently is weird, both of these things. I should make a health stone. Slash dance, there we go. Stun my pet then. Tank Warlock's going to be strong in PvP. They did nerf them a bit, you know. They did nerf them a little bit. Uh, they changed it so your taunt, uh, it went from Curse of Wreck to Fear. So if you're a tanking in meta, you can't spam Fear anymore, which is quite a big nerf. Uh, so yeah, I think they, they got some internal testing or just a lot of people saying, yo, this is going to be so incredibly broken and they toned it down a bit. Oh, I don't need to kill these ones yet. You have a rotate, rotate minimap toggled? I do. It's... I intend it to be there. I can't explain it, but I do. Yep, yes, the Fers. There's got to be a few of us, right? Yo, it is, uh... Busier here than I expected. Yeah, I thought these guys would just respawn so fast that they'd be alright. Could group, but you know, you get more XP when you're solo, don't you? The ideas on the Horde Master Channeler. Um, I got mine from a 
a piece of pie from a vendor. Yeah, so I don't know. If you see someone that's a random vendor on your map, um, not necessarily reagent vendors and just standard ones like that, but special ones, see what they sell. Where'd I find my one? Let me see if I can find the uh, vendor. Um, I, I thought I had an add-on that showed vendors. Oh, I must have turned it off. For me, there was a vendor um, just around here in Thalsamar who was walking up and down. I think they walked down the path here and then they come back around like this. You find what the wolf jawbone was for? I did, yeah. So uh, I got the wolf jawbone, and then later on we got some Wendigo blood from one of the uh, yetis in the cave. And then you went to kill some of the troll, the, the frost main trolls that dropped the shimmer weed. <clears throat> and you used them all together on some summoning altar. And I got... Uh, it summons an, a, a rare elite demon, you kill that, and then you get demonic tactics. So yeah, that, that was what that was for. Mm, yeah, I, I don't need to be in here yet. Bit disappointed with the runes. Yeah, I mean, these are the early game ones, right? I think they just want to give everyone a good taste of what the season's about. Uh, they want you to get your runes quite fast. You know, there's a bit of a discovery, but nothing crazy. Perhaps they kind of up the ante a bit on the uh, on the future ones make it a little bit more complicated or put them behind bigger quest lines maybe even finish some quest lines you know but yeah like so many people in stream of us today yo has anyone found the metamorphosis rune yet and everyone's like nope don't know what that is so some of them are still pretty well hidden If you look at retail, some of the secret stuff Blizzard put in the game can get crazy. Uh, like Legion for the, the big squib boy in the outside version of, um, oh, what was it called? The, the dungeon in the sooner. Or the Elucid Nightmare. There's some crazy d secrets. Or the, uh, what you call it, the Fey Dragon in Winterspring. What if it's in Felwood? I don't think they'd do that. Like, I don't think they'll have you go into a zone where you're just going to chain die if anything aggro's on you, you know? I have a Shara. Yeah, that's the one. You know, the outdoor version of that. You got the big squiddy boy. The mount thing. You think the Metamorphosis one is the Orc Warlock in Ashen Vale who summons the Voidwalkers? Uh, sounds pretty likely to me. Uh, it could be something surrounding that or the Satyr camp over to the east of the zone, maybe. Um, those are the candidates that kind of make sense to me. Um, also, there's... There's some, like, hi hidden kind of place off to the side a bit. Um up here that's also full of demons I think could be there up a tower or something if I was high enough level I would go and have a look but I'm not quite yet There's a, uh, there's a warlock only lootable stand the ta staff <laughs> reading in the tower of Athalax and 
the Red Ridge Tower, there's an orb. They're trying to figure out how to combine them. Yo, that sounds pretty good. Wait, can you get in the Tower of Aphelax at level 25? I thought they're level 30-something in there. I know there's the Tower... Uh, what is it? Not Tower of Azora. Um, I forget the name of the one in Red Ridge. Oh, yeah, this one. Il Il Ilgalar, that's the one. Oh, he's on the quest ahead of me. Yeah, I'll probably leave and carry on solo. He's on the quest uh, after this one. He's a level 12. What are you doing here at level 12, man? This is a bit, uh, you're a bit low, don't you think? been any new items yet uh yeah i mean there will be not that i know of a lot of the new items have been tied to the new quests or the runes the actual like new physical items you can equip in terms of new gear trinkets all of that um i think you're gonna have to do black fathoms deep as the raid before you start getting those uh so you need one more of each here uh, i think i'm gonna leave he's he's doing a different part of the quest for me but yeah, it's cool, isn't it? People searching on discords and stuff. This is what the season is all about, you know? We're going to discover stuff so fast these days, but while it's a thing, it'll be fun. BFD drops a, a swim speed ring. That is a... That's very vanilla-esque, isn't it? It's not necessarily bis or anything, but hey, it does this cool thing. You appear to be much stronger than a level 15 Warlock in Vanilla. It, it's not comparable. Um, Horn to Master Chandler. Um, yeah, I just do this. And the, the mob's actually already dead. Um, I don't I, I don't really have to do anything else. It's just going to die. I meant to one then, but I got stunned. Uh, so yeah, our characters are so good right now. Definitely stronger. But enemies do hit harder as well, so, you know, it's a bit of give and take there. Fire and forget, it is, yeah. You put up Master Channel, you put up Corruption, you put up Haunt, and you wand, and the thing on your screen dies. And then you do it again. See this Hunter damage, though? He's a level 12, and that explosive shot did about 30% of that level 14's health. I've heard explosive shot is crazy, by the way. Like, so good. Seven frost bolts. I mean, if you try mage, uh, they've got living bomb, if you know that from Wrath of the Lich King. Same ability. Uh, they have something called living flame, which is you spawn a little flame on the floor and it chases stuff down and does a lot of damage. Um, so the uh, capability to do AoE is amazing. Saw a rogue die fighting a ball one level higher. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I don't think rogue's got the most at 25. Uh, if I was a rogue, I would be going after Mutilate, Deadly Brew, and uh, Envenom, I guess. I, I think that would be my leveling build. Explosive does 150 damage, level 17, 6 second cooldown, no mana cost practically, yeah. I mean, <laughs> why does Arcane Shot exist now, right? Hope it doesn't get boring after some time. I mean, all things, you know, have a shelf life. Apart, apart from Vanilla World of Warcraft, apparently. <laughs> that seems to be endlessly replayable. Living Flames Unreal. Yeah, I think Mage looks so good for leveling. Squishy, though. Three healing potions off that. Nice. What's on your mind? Yeah, it's the 
Oh, there's this part, and then there's the bit after that, isn't there? Alliance is lucky. Most of the runes have been found. I guess there's, um, if, if vanilla works the way vanilla usually does, I think there will be more alliance players. So that's kind of, you know, one thing happens because of the other, right? Uh, oh, when did I get these? Hey, yo, 18 armor, two intellect, two stamina. That is bis. They are going straight on. Rune that up. Fresh demon skin, yes sir. Damn saves a lot. T tell me how you really feel. Don't hold back. Authenticator problems, man. I hope I hope no one DDoSes. It happens kind of often with these big server releases, you know. Uh, right, let's try and get this one done. What's Master Channel do? I will show you in a moment. You can't log in either? Oof. Okay, well. Don't log out. Yeah, apparently the PvE servers were also faction locked yesterday by accident, uh, but they fixed that pretty soon after. Uh, so Master Chandler, instead of me having to channel drain life, I press it, and there it is. It's just a damage over time effect now, so I can do everything else while my drain life is ticking. Uh, as you can imagine, that's pretty good. What's demonic tactics from? You have to combine a uh, two items from your starter zone together. And uh, yeah, so for me, it was on the dwarf starter zone. It was a wolf jaw and wendigo blood. And then I was questing another area where the frost main trolls are. And you get a buck and then you have to summon a demon. So there's a few steps and it's going to be quite different, I imagine. But if you receive an item from your starting zone uh, that's not familiar, then you might want to hang on to it, you know, you could get it. It's pretty busted, yes. Yeah, it feels very strong. Is it all channeled spells? Uh, no, just Strain Life. <laughs> if this worked for Hell Funnel as well, holy crap, that would be unbelievably busted. It can be cleansed by priests, yeah. In PvP, it, it, this looks like the most broken thing ever, but priests hard counter you. Then again, if you're if you're playing a lock and you get on somebody that can't get rid of the Steve buff, they're just dead. Like straight up. It does so much damage and heals so much. I I'm not going down there. They're gonna aggro on me. Wait, wasn't that demonic grace? Oh, Oh, yeah, 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 I, I got it wrong. Yeah, you're right. Demonic Tactics, there was a, a, an acolyte who was dead in Elwyn Forest. Um, around here, in front of a stone, and you got an item from it, and you take it to your Warlock trainers, who then basically go have you go back to the stone, use the item, and then you go back to your Warlock trainers, and you can learn it. Yeah, demonic... I mean, it's, it's like playing a paladin, right? Every other spell is called divine or holy. For warlock, it's demonic or shadow, right? Yo, Nick, what's up? Not a bold gnome in real life? Sorry to disappoint. I could be a gnome, though. You don't know that, do you? Maybe I'm actually four foot two. Could 
could be the case. Sci for life on steroids. Oh, I get that reference. Crypto guy, right? Woohoo! First try. Yeah, you missed it. I've missed uh, a few runes as well, which I'm going to need to go back and get, but hey, that's the season, isn't it? Yeah, I've just got the camera angled really well, so you can't tell I'm actually a gnome. It's true. Is everyone here trying to jump back up here or something? There ain't many mobs, uh, mobs up here either. Create Ethereum, that's the one. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Uh, mind if I just... Oh, someone else got it. Damn it. I have to say, out of every use, um, what you call it has, haunt, the ability to just tag mobs is so nice as a warlock. Usually they are terrible at tagging mobs in vanilla. It's no moonfire, but yeah, it's better. You know, I'll take it. It's better than nothing, which is what we had before. Do you also have the Acolyte note? Um, yeah. I guess it got removed when I completed the spell. I did have it before, but I don't at the moment. Can't destroy it or sell it? Well, in the bank, I guess. No other choice, is there? Wait, everyone else has gone... Oh, I'm not paying attention here, am I? Oh, for me? Thank you. You know what? We can take a second one. L literally face tanking a level 16, taking no damage, man. Master Channeler is so powerful. And Haunt as well. Is the XP boosted on the server? No, it's not. These are one times vanilla rates, so slow and steady. But we're capped to level 25 at the moment anyway, so yeah, it's all right, isn't it? Haunt is wonderful, get tag and the heels. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Where'd you find the runes? I just kind of came across them when I was leveling. I, I didn't go super out of my way. The one I probably would have missed would have been um, Demonic Tactics, if anything. Lost the XP. XP is the same. No changes. Why Gnome? I mean, back in 2019 vanilla, Gnome was my first character ever. And it's just... I just felt like remaking it, you know, for the season. Not many uh, Shaman around here. For this quest, that is. Yeah, typical vanilla. One shaman, nine bone snapper. You'll love to see it.
He's a seer, he's not shaman as well. Ugh. Annoying. Um, so yeah, I think we're running a bit dry on mobs here. Even though in there's four of us. I thought there was like a million mobs in this uh, cave and they'd respawn all the time. Still, Warlock's pretty mobile. I'm just running about using Master Chandler and Corruption. And I'm not even bothering with Agony. It doesn't feel necessary most of the time. Yo, Raphael, what's up? Oh, I missed that one. Charm with dual wields fun. Yeah, I guess it is going to feel a bit of a different class when you have those two weapons on her. Uh, let's try and finish off these shaman. Oh, everyone else at nine shaman. I'm at two. Hmm. Check inside the water. Hold up. Hmm. Is this always here? This looks kind of new. I can't interact with it though. It's a box. No way. Didn't used to have those back in my day. No meta. Nope. We don't know where meta is. It is hidden. One of those. Little haunt. Think I'll fear you. Immolate. Ooh. I think he's okay, right? Yeah, but Warlock feels so mobile now. Usually it really wasn't mobile. It's for Paladin's Torn. Oh, okay. That's a good one, if you need that. Yeah, I've just, I've just noticed with this Master Chandler, you can outrange it. Yeah. Looks like it goes a bit beyond 20 yards. Infinite Beam, nah. Nah, I just noticed it then. It's on the other guy when I was running about in circles. It did break. So I can't use it from this range. But if I apply it from that range, it'll break probably in a few more yards. Yeah. Yeah, there seems to be some issues logging in at the moment for the season. Oh, which is definitely annoying. What runes am I up to? I am up to Master Chandler, uh, which turns Drain Life into a dot. Demonic Tactics, which is just a bunch of crit. Demonic Grace, which is some dodge and more crit. And Haunt. So I still need to get a bunch more as well. I'm really not, uh, uh, I haven't found too many. And I know I've missed one or two as well. more of these shaman why are they so rare jet demonic tactics if you're alliance and you go to uh, there's like some acolyte who's dead in front of a ritual stone somewhere around here and he'll give you a quest you take that to the warlock trainers and uh, go back to the ritual stone and in again and you'll get it So 
Do I rush to get runes? I don't think so, no. Um, obviously, by the time you're level 25, you kind of will want everything. Just so, you know, you can try everything, you know, above anything else. But I've already missed a few runes and it's, it doesn't really matter. I can just go back and get them. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to finish off these shaman here. We're all spawning a seers down here, which is uh, no good. I'm going to spam life tap to, <laughs> to out damage my spells. And I'm still at 100% health. I literally cast three spells and then had to spam life tap. And I, cannot out, I can't out damage myself. Look at this. Man, your life tap rank one does suck. So, and back to 75% health after literally just spamming life tap. Oh, he's in trouble. Yeah, everyone else is gone. I'm just trying to find the shaman here. Hunters can get crit chance with uh, the rune combo. Yeah, my hunters are really good. I want to try a hunter out for sure. Can pull two here. Is it cheaper to reset talents? Yeah, so I saw that... Um, I think they moved it down to 10 silver to start off with, and that goes up to 20. Give you one of those if he's going to heal. Hunter's topping damage. I am not surprised. I thought they'd be good. <laughs> Look at the queue, man. Oof. Resist. Can't believe how many people are doing this at level 12, by the way. It seems so risky. Yep. Once we get yep, Shadow Vault Volley, get all our crit chance, stack them up, we are gonna be doing big numbers. Big num I can't wait to try that out in dungeons. Like it should be an amazing build for damage. You know what, usually I wouldn't take it in vanilla, but I'm probably gonna get improved life tap thinking about it, because I'm healing so much more. And even when I get higher ranks of life tap. I I think I'm just going to be storing so much health that it'll be worth getting. He healed. Cheeky. Finish this guy. Any add-ons except Questy? Hmm. Yes, weak horrors, weak horrors, or weak horrors are always nice to have. Um, apart from that, hmm. no, those are kind of the main ones. Those are kind of the main ones. Does haunt buff drain life? Yeah, yeah, it stacks. Uh, drain life is considered a damage over time effect, so. It's pretty good. Yeah, there is a Divine Storm rune, but I I just don't know stuff about other classes at the moment. I might be able to tell you something about Warlock, as long as you don't ask about meta, because, I don't know. Bagnon? Yeah, I use Bagnon, actually. That's a good one. What else do I have? Atlas Loot? You don't really need that. Um, oh, Leatrix maps, because otherwise your map covers your whole screen. And uh, Leatrix Plus, maybe for some just general automation things. Anyone checked if the Soul of Iron buff exists? I don't know, but I would suggest no. 
You've hit 25 and can't find Divine Storm. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay, maybe that's uh, it's like the meta one where it's kind of really hidden and they're all looking for it. Oh yeah, and this one is mini mini map button bag. And it just collapses. Do you know when you install an add-on, for some reason they're obsessed with putting everything around your mini map. Uh, you just install this add-on and it kind of collapses everything for you. So we need uh, one more shaman here. Why organize your inventory? Wait, here's the organization. There you go. Happy? And we are done. And I got a heavy short bar off that. 2.5 speed bow. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, but these, the really powerful runes, maybe they are from the raid, right? From uh, Black Family Steep. And you need to go to, like, the pinnacle of the content that we have at level 25 in the season before you can get them. There are multiple ways to get runes, definitely, yeah. I think it makes sense, right? Because everyone's in different starting zones at different points, so... If you're a human, are you going to be expected to... I don't know. Be forced to go to Darkshore to get a rune when you can get it in Westfall too. The entire roll lock behind the raid. Yeah, I I feel as though they want you to have everything like disposable before you go into the raid. The gatekeep warlocks behind the raid. I don't think they'd do that. I just don't think people have figured it out quite yet. What I want to see, right, at level 60 is I think eventually we're going to get weapon runes and they're going to do something really impactful. Now imagine putting a rune on your weapon that, I don't know, makes your attacks automatically cleave or something. Or, I don't know, when you when you do cast a fire spell, it casts rain, a rain of fire on the target you cast it on. Surely they'll do weapon runes, right? Might be a level 60. So I feel like weapons are the biggest thing to put a rune on. Alright, Mr. Wallbang. Hand that in. Sounds legit. I hope so. Maybe they won't be that powerful, because... Yeah, those examples would be insane. They're swappable in combat. That is true. Maybe you'd have to... Actually, you can't You can't really change that, can you? Because imagine if you rune... Like a weapon on a warrior, and then you have to swap out to a two-handed weapon or something. That just wouldn't work, would it? Yeah, yeah, maybe that, maybe that doesn't work then. Still, it'd be cool though, right? You liking Season of Discovery so far? I'm liking it a lot. But guys, I've been on for... I was <laughs> planning to go uh, for a bit less. I've probably streamed a bit later than I was initially going to at first. Because um, when I was first loading up my stream, uh, my internet basically wasn't working. So I, I started a lot later, later than I was going to in the first place too. Uh, but anyway, this is day two. We got to level 15, very close to level 16. I'll probably try and finish up these starter-ish quests and pick up the runes that I've missed. It's just going to be a lot of running back and forth to, to pick up the ones I've missed, I reckon. Um, but yeah, that's that's I reckon that's good for day two of the season, level 15. I really don't feel as though there's some need to like hyper rush towards the end game, do you know what I mean? And uh, of course, I, I want to keep up with the videos and content and stuff. And uh, you know, I have to put my time somewhere, they do take a bit of time to put together. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the stream. Thanks for tuning in, uh, whether it be on Twitch or YouTube. You know, I try and keep up with the chat. Uh, just generally enjoy the season while it's something new and something fresh, right? Um, yeah, if you've enjoyed it, drop a follow, drop a 
sub, all of that good stuff would be very appreciated. Not the journey, it's the destination, absolutely. And my current time played to get to about level 16 is just under 11 hours. Um, not the fastest, but 10, 10 hours, 53 minutes. I did AFK a bunch too, so yeah, I have good reason. Anyways, guys, uh, I hope the I hope the login issues fix themselves. Hope you're able to get on and enjoy a bit of the season over the weekend. Um, I'll be streaming again real soon. Might put it on tomorrow. I'll uh, probably try and take Sunday off and just chill a bit. And uh, of course, I've got to got to keep up with the videos, right? And I feel as though there's so much potential stuff you could make on the season, right? So we'll uh, carry on, uh, carry on real soon. And uh, yeah, peace out. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day, your evening, wherever you're at, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.